Let's do the clap, ready? One. All right, hold on. One, two, two three. three. Oh, wait, one more time. One, two, three. Wow. <laughs> really? No, that's it. No. All right, all right, fuck it. No. All right. I can't clap. Anyways, man. guys. These are our guests. These are our... We have geniuses here. Well, I mean, nobody, nobody's gotten the clap down right no, yet. No, no, no. But anyways, um, we have we have Manhands Malone, and we have Bandy Keith joining us today. We're going to be talking about um, EA's latest blunder, The Division, and uh, other things involved with their stuff. Wait. It's Ubisoft. It's actually. Ubisoft? Yeah. yeah, they both suck. Yes. Uh, yeah, no. they do both, well, because remember. Well, I, the main thing is I wanted to talk about Dongate, too. That's why I brought up EA. That's okay. No. Okay. We'll They're both big the companies. We yeah. can easily transition. I know. I mean, I just they confuse both. the two well, all the time, suck. because they're just <laughs> yes. so bullshit. They're, both. <laughs> they're just basically the okay. same they side. One really good thing is Sith Lords of the universe of uh, no division you know, <laughs> consumer marketing. Yeah. So anyways, yeah, I didn't even know it was Ubisoft. That's how freaking bad it was. Yeah. Ubisoft, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry for, like, having to put you in the same boat as EA, but, like, I'm not sorry at the same You time. fucked up. <laughs> you done fucked you up. You fucked up. Yeah, you deserve really that. Because, uh, I mean, they do have some, some gems, you know? Siege. Siege, yes. yeah. Well, Siege, she, Siege is fine. Wait, Wait, Siege? Is that Ubisoft or EA? That's Ubisoft. That's, that's Ubisoft. Tom Clancy. That's both Tom Clancy. Yeah, oh, I know. Yeah, but <laughs> one, on. one, is, one hey, seems to like more, yes. more Tom Clancy than the other, you know what I'm saying? Very yeah, much that's so. For sure. That's like, for sure. Very much so. <laughs> Tom Clancy universe is very based on, like, militaristic concepts, you know, like... You know, espionage, badass elements. The division. You look like a homeless guy that was given an assault rifle instead of a free meal. Like, go ahead, <laughs> save the world. Okay. Yeah, I've been activated. I got my Rolex, dude. Bam! I'm a hero. Woo. Oh and then you know, then you have games like Siege, where you, like the moment you open the door, you get shot in the face. You're like, what just happened? But well, remember, in Siege, you don't use doors. Exactly. Use sledgehammers There's and thermite bombs. <laughs> you can true. open doors in that game, though, right? They have a door. Yes, open you can open doors in that <laughs> game, but <laughs> you, you never do because you want to break walls. <laughs> you just you slowly like peek through the door and then get your face blown off. Right. This is Wall Breaking Simulator 2016. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but I, I mean, I've seen I've seen Manhands Mark play this game, yeah. and uh, I, and I've seen it, and it's kind of like it's got like a scary game aspect to it. It's, it's like, like silent, oh, yeah. and all of a sudden, it's because of suspense. Everything Man. happens all at once. It's extremely intense. I can tell you why. I play that shit with surround sound on my headset, and I can hear everything. I hear the guy outside. I'm like, he's right behind us. And I turn around, and I just shoot through the wall, and then the guy dies. And I'm like, I actually can hear them. I can hear sounds. <laughs> I can I hear, hear them. them. I can hear it's, movement. It's almost like uh, what was it? <laughs> Honestly, that's very similar to Daisy. I don't that because I play it. But when yep. you're when you're sitting in a bush. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you hear a freaking footstep behind you. It's like, <gasps> shit. Yeah, I, I would know what that's just like. Does he know I'm here? Should I stand still, or is he about to kill me? It's a, but the thing about DZ and 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 Siege is different. Siege, you're on a time limit. Oh no 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 yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I'm just but saying. Like, the suspense is yeah, here yeah. and suspense is there. The you suspense just, is extremely. You, you just got a clenched butthole the entire time. <laughs> you're there like. What's gonna happen? But there are great moments also within Siege, like the Die Hard moment that I had with Mark and oh, Ernie when we played that. Yeah. Like they were outside, they do the breach, and then all it all goes straight to hell. They both get shot right in the face in front of me, and I'm there on the rooftop, giddy as possible, <laughs> looking down, <laughs> and then I blow open the rooftop, and this guy just, for some reason, he looks at me like I'm the creator of the universe. Is that you, God? No. <laughs> Bam! I shoot him right between the eyes, dead. The other guy comes to check on his teammate, like if he can give CPR to a guy that only has a brain stem now. <laughs> and then I shoot him in the face, and I fall down into the room, but I don't have any more ammunition to my main gun, so I pull out this silenced pistol, which is like a, basically a sniper rifle for Russians. And then I just drop the guy to the left of me, and it just, the last part is the best, because I only have two shots left in my gun. I miss the first shot, and this dude just runs straight in my face, and then I shoot him right between the eyes, and we win. And that's the kind of accomplishment I feel when I play that game. Yes. Yeah, so it's a stark contrast to the accomplishment you feel when you finish an incursion. Okay, what let's talk. <laughs> okay. Oh. That's for damn sure. Here, here's oh. the like, he's had his moments of, we've all had, like me, Ernie, and, and Tony have all had our moments of glory. Yeah. And not, definitely not. Josh, no. I still think no. that was his first no one. Game, the last kill, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't see the guy at the end of the hallway, I went, 
Oh, you did a headshot. What the fuck? Yeah. Was it with the Super 90? Or no, 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 no. no, no, no. That, that was the was revolver. Before, that was but don't give, yeah. me the, don't give me the semi-auto shotgun and let them be within mid-range of me. <laughs> yeah. That's they, just they hard. They nerfed the shit out of the Super 90. No, yeah. they yeah. did not. Of course they did. They Frost was OP, be, man. It was really strong. Frost was basically... But they're supposed to be strong. Yeah, that's true. But I know that we balance guns because video games and everything. In real life, don't make you can't mix them together. But the thing about it is, like, I can tell you the biggest bullshit in the universe within Siege. I use a shotgun, right? The pump action shotgun. Remington, I'm playing as the SAS guy, uh, Sledge. I break open a wall, and I see the enemy. I shoot him in the face. I literally see his face has been shot. And then he but, just uh, drops me. Yeah, that, And I see his HP. Bit. His HP is like 60%. And no, that's he had body armor, bro. But no, he had it on his face. Matter. Here's the thing. He attached, Shock, <laughs> he attached like, the bulletproof vest to his face. Shotguns <laughs> are either broken or terrible in games. They, it, I, have, I have yet to see a game that has properly balanced a shotgun. Like, you could have Halo 1 shotgun where you could kill anything from, like, a mile yeah, away. Yeah, as what's in the circle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As long as you hit him with one pellet, you were good. Because but then you can have Siege, like where the pump action sucks. How about, how about freaking Battlefield? Okay, man? fine. No, 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 okay. no, 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 Okay, no. Bad Company 2. Joke. Saiga and the U-Sauce, man. No, no, no. <laughs> with explosive rounds. Nothing like Bad Company 2 to give you a day good, good head start. Oh, my God. Those are good times. Jesus. You know, anyways, I, I, I don't want to deviate too much yeah, because I want to get I want to get to the division because um, this is like the meat and potatoes of our conversation. <laughs> yes, course, yeah. like quite literally. But the thing is, because like you know, this game was we've been waiting for this game for the longest time. I remember last year when I saw the first trailer where there was a guy playing from his iPad and he had the drone come in and he like he like helped his team. Yeah. And then he, he's like, oh, I gotta go to work for you later, guys. And I was like, Yo, this game's cool because like if I'm at school and I'm waiting between classes and Mark's playing, I can like jump in and like fuck with him. Yeah, like, yo, that'd be great, you know. But no, they removed that. Removed everything that was decent about the game. Yeah, downgraded right the, the, the yeah. quality as well. Yeah, yeah, downgraded the quality, and then on top of that, color. They schemes. made the game such a grind. Yeah. But like, it's not even a hard grind because of all the exploits. I know. Okay, like, let's let's bro, talk about. That. Warning: This is about to become a rant. Yo, let's talk about yeah, exploits. Yeah, okay, this trigger warning. Yeah, pretty much, because <laughs> if you don't like it when you're told about terrible facts of a video game, you should stop watching. But here's the thing. Here's the thing with The Division. The developers, for some reason, they openly admitted that they had cut content from the game that they would then implement later on. So that doesn't make sense. Like, their first showcase of the game showed this amazing, open world, vast opportunity, crazy shit happening everywhere. What we got was a husk. Literally, you the PVE aspect of the division is possibly one of the biggest disappointments within any possible way. It, because when you go inside the hub that connects all the missions together, they said that they were gonna have dynamic events, right? Mm -hmm. oh, but, yeah. but they call those little side missions that yeah. are there. But that's bullshit. It's yeah. the, it's boring. There's exactly. nothing. There. There's once you do them once, they're yeah. done. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, and you don't get to do anymore. And it's not like even, there's not even a scaling opportunity to make it difficult. Like I would love to do that shit with like a challenge mode difficulty. Mm -hmm. Seriously, that would be cool. But then we got the dark zone, which apparently fucking massive feels to be the the, the developer team feels to be invested in. They're like, PvP, PvP, PvP. Then I'm like, why didn't you just make the whole map one entire kill zone? one huge dark zone. Exactly. That would be amazing. <laughs> it would. Okay? Because then you have the scale of what they were They were making yeah. it seem like. They were like, oh, you're going to have the entire city of New York to fight in and yeah. kill people and stuff, and the dark zone's going to be huge and massive. Yeah. I can run the length of the dark zone in about seven minutes. Yeah. It yeah. takes me four hours to run the entire map of DayZ from... From one end to another. Not corner to corner, from one end to another. Yep. Yeah. Let's not talk about corner I know. to corner. Yo, four hours, though. No, yeah. I'm dead no, serious. If you play Dead if you play Z, the it's map huge. is freaking it's huge. It's gigantic. It's like, you are you are an ant on this, and this is your playing field, and the ant is oh, moving at the base of a snail. Yeah. For an ant. An ant's snail. <laughs> if that was a thing. <laughs> yes. That's a weird hybrid. Yep. Yeah. But, um... Let, let's see, the, the thing that they always touch upon, which is really bad within this developer, is that they have no sense of uh, balancing at all. Because they don't tend to fix their own exploits once it's already been you know, put to the address. Uh, address, yeah. When, it, when it's brought up to everyone's attention, like, yeah, there's this exploit and we're going to take care of it. However, everyone's already exploited the shit out of it, and there are those people who are like loyal to playing a game. They're like, I want to play a game to play a game. I don't want to fucking break a game to play a game. They're, yeah. they're, I didn't pay for that. Yeah. Yeah. 
And that's where you have literally this split between the population now. The division. Yeah, yeah. the division yeah. within the division. The <laughs> yeah. long division. It's the division. Yeah. Yeah. No, but what would you do about something like, okay, because there was a lot of exploits, but the one that was most memorable for me was the pasta cake. Oh, 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 for those of you who don't know, Bullet King was a mob that was spawned within the map, and he had a, a patrol of them. If you kill him, and then you let all of his cronies kill you, he would respawn and drop the same loot over and over again. And, and Phoenix credits. Yeah, and Phoenix credits. Yeah. But that wasn't really that big of a deal because this came out after the Phoenix credits nerf had already occurred. Yeah. yeah. Where but it was still, just like you, you could were, sit there and farm him like forty yeah. times yeah. and like, you know, you get Phoenix credits out of it. You see, yeah, if you get two every time, that's, that's eight Phoenix credits. Yeah. 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 Exactly. But yeah. there were other exploits that were even nastier for Phoenix. Mm -hmm. Okay. You wanna talk was... you wanna talk about really nasty exploits? This isn't even that old. This is like less than a week ago. With mm -hmm. their latest introduction of the game, incursions. Incursions. Oh, yeah. It, they oh, made, they they raised the roof of this idea that it's like shit cursions. Yeah, you're gonna be a badass. You're gonna be you're gonna be strike force alpha. Kill all these bad motherfuckers, right? This is gonna be hard. You're gonna need to like prepare yourself and work as a awesome team, gear. right? Yes. Yeah, no. Yeah. Nope. Mm -mm. That's not how it works. You know how it works? You walk right past all the enemies and you shoot the back of an APC till it dies. That was week. That was like day one and two. Day three. Okay, they fixed that. But they don't fix the other shit that people start exploiting. Oh, let me throw up a shield cover. I can go through the wall. I can do exactly what I just did again. They patch that. Oh. Except it gets even better now. You can actually make the mobs kill the fucking APC. <laughs> Are you kidding? Like there is. Oh, like, and let's not forget about the unlimited damage buff that you can do oh, now. Oh yeah. With yeah. The mask and well, the no, no, no. They got rid. They, they actually got rid of that. They actually fixed that. But you know what they Took did? Long enough. You know what's funny? When they fixed that, I checked today. I checked today this fucking morning playing the game. They had implemented a patch that was supposed to fix that exploit, but it created another problem within its own algorithm of like game logic. It there's so there's a buff that you get on armor. It's called protection from elites, right? It's oh, a percentage. Shit. It's like nine to eleven percent, right? Except what it does now, it doesn't protect you from elites. It increases the damage you take from elites by that percentage. So it it, it hits totally wastes the slot. Yeah. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm wondering, like, do they just have, like, one guy that they just threw, like, a temp? They just threw all the information? Alright, fix this shit. We're not gonna do it. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Because, like, when I look at the division, I look at just so much opportunity to expand on, on a really good universe, and then they fail miserably on almost all, well, actually, yeah, all fronts. Like, there's... There's like, nothing there. Like the the game feels empty. What would you do? Like what would make the game that much better? Like what what, what right. could we do? Make shotguns first. Good. Okay. Right. Yes. Oh, that's that's, that's, that's Mark talk. Good. Mark wanted to talk about oh. weapons because I know you oh. wanted to say something about weapon balancing. Oh. Okay. okay. Well, I I definitely say that SMGs, marksman rifle combo is pretty much the way to go. LMGs also are yeah, really good yeah. too. But everyone, as far as I know. They either have a marksman rifle or an SMG in the thing. Nobody uses shotguns. Nobody uses assault rifles. Mm -hmm. Reason why? They're not good. They just don't. They're, there's no reason to use them. You know. I know that there are some assault rifles that are good. Like there, there's some that you know the more um, what are they called the compact ones. Yeah, yeah. like the, the carbine style ones. Yeah, like exactly. The, like yeah. the uh, the M4. Yeah. You can just get if you want to like you know suppress. You can just get an LMG. And yeah. That's the exactly. job. Yeah, but the thing is. They don't, they're not so good at doing that. Yeah, they, they, really? they, yeah, yeah. in yeah. challenge mode, the mobs don't care about okay. covering exactly. them. They, they close the gap between you. Oh, yeah. Let, let's talk about that for a second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, challenge mode altogether just doesn't make fucking sense. Uh, I can tell you <laughs> yeah. why. You have mobs that can now damage you at realistic levels. Like, it makes sense for a guy to walk up with you in a shotgun and shoot you and you're dead. But then you have the same ability and you shoot him back and you take 35 years to kill the mob. Yes. Now, a lot of people want to say it's an RPG, that's the way it's supposed to work. Well, here's the thing. Why don't we just change the way challenge mode works altogether? Like, make an increase on your cooldowns so that you can't use your skills as much as you possibly would in other difficulties. Increase your damage scaling. Increase, uh, decrease the amount of ammunition that you pack so it's realistic. Yeah. You have like 90 rounds exactly. in tow instead of, I don't know, a thousand? <laughs> yeah. I don't know about you people that play the division, but putting a thousand rounds downrange at a person Makes no sense. What am I fighting? <laughs> fucking Terminators? It doesn't make sense. Like, 
and then for them to just walk up to you, a guy with a fucking golf club hits you and you're dead. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right? Yes. But yet you shoot bullets at him in the face and it takes like yeah. eight of them. Yeah. Okay, but, but to be fair, we do need to make the game kind of hard because if you could just shoot a dude that's coming at you with a golf club, yeah. Like twice and he dies and like that's not challenging. But the thing is, what they had shown, like within the E3 was the 2013 video, yeah, the one where it showed it was like the first one. Yeah, the very first one. They showed that that crazy factor in there where you had to work as a team, you had to have, you know, synergy, you had to be co cohesive with each other. Yeah, and they yeah. showed that the enemies would actually avoid yeah, fire. They, they were, right? Yeah, they, they were, were smart. actively trying not to get hit. Yeah. yeah. In this game, no. No, you have literally mobs dedicated to putting their face in front of yours yeah. and yes. dying. Yes. And then the other mobs don't actually support them or suppress you. Like, that's what's weird. There's only one mob type that can suppress in the game, and that's an LMG user. And also, that's and barely anyone yeah. are LMG users. Another thing, we're talking about an RPG. RPGs have many different types of stories, and it, within them, they have stories, they have paths you can choose, they have stuff like that. They, you know, you have different missions that you can do. What do you do in this game in every single mission? You kill people. You just kill people. Yeah. What did I see in like one of their videos where they sh they showcased one of the guys that is supposedly a division agent? They showed him run into this tent after he wiped out a whole bunch of guys, and this and the guy has a person hostage, and he's like trying to negotiate with him while yeah. his teammates are outside of the tent yeah. and about to shoot him through the wall because you hit you sound yeah. like pulse. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Do I ever see any type of negotiation or standstill where you're no, not shooting well, somebody? You, you do have to think about it this way. There are some hostage rescue missions that they do have, but there's no, there's the thing is that there's no, uh, like threat to the yeah, hostage. There's yeah. no threat to the hostage. Yeah. At all. And, and what it's do you not do? Like siege. You yeah. just, <laughs> and, oh, here, and here's the best. It's thing. not like no, 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 no. siege. Now they made it like that. That, that would be intense. That would be, be, that'd that'd be been like, that would be great. But again, even in the hostage mission that they give you, you just kill everybody and then you magically just... He left the key laying around somewhere <laughs> the hostage, in the store! The hostage happens to know where the key is yeah. when the hostage is locked in a room that's you in the basement. You gotta find the key! And it's just like... Oh, well, and there's no window! Here. He's yeah. in a door with no windows at all! And he's or, like, they left the key somewhere around the room! Or, or a prison cell. But yeah, like, what we, what we were talking about a little bit earlier, like if they had branched out and made the map fully accessible and it's open PvP yes. concept, they could have implemented so many, like, game-type modes that, like, people favor in PvP. For example, like um, uh, you could like pledge allegiance to a faction if you don't want to be a division yeah, agent. Like imagine, like you like you you uh, pledge allegiance to uh, the Rikers. last Rikers or because last Laura, Man because Laura Barrett actually knows what she's doing. Yeah. even though she's still the best. Yeah, and you get like certain perks from that, and would yeah. be cool. And Yo, then you would you would then would capture cool. points for that faction. And then, like, you and then you have areas in, like, and since you know, if they would have made the entire map uh, some kind of like a dark zone, you'd have certain locations which actually would be under the control of a certain faction. Yeah. So if you're LMB and you want to get into the rioter area, you know that there's going to be a shitload of rioters there as well as people of that faction. Yeah. So I have to deal with that if I want to go into that area. Because exactly. that's what's cool about the dark zone. You actually see the mobs fighting each other. You don't get that experience anywhere else, and it doesn't make sense for them to just have this small little divide there where everyone is focused so much in this small, pathetic little area called the Dark Zone. Just make the whole map the Dark Zone. If that's what you're going to build it upon, PvP with PvE. Just call it, just mix it together. And what I was saying earlier, like, you know, the whole faction thing that you could pledge allegiance to that, like, you could also add mission types, for example, exactly. like, capture the territory, or escort a VIP. Like, that would be pretty cool. Like, imagine you, you're, you're a representative of the JTF, and you gotta bring a guy that, uh, like, a munitions expert. Mm -hmm. And if he makes it to the escort point, he generates a bonus perk that lasts for, like, I don't know, four yeah, or five hours in, your faction in that faction. Like, yeah. you, you, but then well, if you're in another faction, like, you can kill him, yeah, get high yeah, ends, yeah, get XP, Yeah, you, you get, get a reward money, for doing yeah. it. Yeah. It implements... Not just including the yeah. fact that you're killing the other people, like, which could... You know, drop loot too. Yeah, yeah. It, it implements this competitive factor it's there that's like, not there. It's like Mortal Kombat, the new one, Mortal Kombat X, where you can choose a faction. Yeah, and yeah, like each other yeah, yeah, yeah. And then whoever yeah. wins gets like a bonus at the end exactly. of the game. Exactly. Yeah. Like, exactly. That's pretty cool. And even if you don't want to make it that crazy, let's say we do, we're, we're forgetting the <coughs> PvP aspect. Like, screw it, and we want some dynamic PvE stuff. All right. Yeah. Because there is no dynamic PvE. Yeah, stuff. Yeah, like you said, once all. you do the missions, you're done with them. And no, you don't need to do anything. Yeah, exactly. Why don't they have real-time missions that drop a blueprint, but instead of like the blueprints that we already have, first of all, 95% of them are worthless because yeah. after you level past them, they're completely worth they're completely yeah. useless. You do the, you get live time missions by chance on your own server because you know you don't have other people running around your PvE yeah. server, but in your live time mission, 
it j randomly will generate some kind of blueprint for you. And yeah. the gun or piece of armor will have the already made blueprint stats on it. Yeah. Like instead of ran like re-rolling like yeah. re to try so and get the right properties. So basically create named items. Exactly. Yeah. Like, but completely randomly generated. Yeah, yeah. I see what you mean. Like what they did in uh, Borderlands. Like the whole yeah. randomization yeah. that, that they had cool. of that. <laughs> yeah. like, Speaking of which, Borderlands see. 3 announced, by the way, guys. Oh, interesting. Borderlands 3. I wonder where they got all the money from that. Was it from Colonial Marines? Oh, dear God. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Sega. Oh, I had to do that. No. Um, but, yeah, there, there's that. And then, you know, everyone that is following the Division, that praises the Division, they're, they're, they have this one, like, illogical, like, stance to make that that's why there's the DLC. There's another thing wrong right there with the whole gaming market altogether is that we're legitimizing, like, uh, you know, errors in development of video games. It doesn't make sense. It's like, it's okay for someone to release an unfinished project and they'll eventually build on it. Look at Battlefield 4. Look at Battlefield 4, okay? And Assassin's Creed. Oh, okay, yeah. So you see, two companies, two AAA companies making the same AAA mistakes. That is bullshit and that shouldn't be accepted, but we accept it because we're a consumer market where like, we'll eventually get what we paid for. Not really. You, yeah, lose, yeah, yeah. you lose interest in what you pay for. Exhibit A, Destiny. Well, Destiny, Destiny, Destiny had a big the slack. Yeah, they, they had a big curveball hit them. But at first, yeah, yes. oh, yeah, which is what we're praying happens with Division. Division. Yeah. I am praying to God that Division yeah. pulls a Destiny and fixes all their shit and makes yeah. it a really good game. But at the why end. don't we? Why don't we? Why didn't get the season pass? Right. You you play Destiny, so explain what what we mean. Right. I never. The one who knows the most about this would be Arlos, but because I played, uh, started playing Destiny after they had that bundle that. 60 bucks and you have all the expansions from year one yeah so you get house of wolves you get the crota you get all uh, yeah, yeah you get crota you get all that stuff yeah, yeah. so the, i came in stuff. at the perfect time i came in at the time where like i can reach the max level do the content and still have fun without it being too repetitive mm -hmm. you know so i came in at the perfect time and then pretty much two or three months after i got the game oryx came out you know so I came in literally at the time that I wanted to, because what happened was is there was a complete change. You know, hand cannons were the most overpowered thing in the game. Period. There was nothing that beat hand cannons Maybe at all. Dirty, hairy, you know, Hawk Moon, Last Word, Thorn. Those shits were so stupid. It was retarded. You know, <laughs> like Hawk Moon could snipe you almost one shot. I think it could one shot you with a headshot cross map. It didn't matter. You know, if you got lucky with all the procs. Yeah. You know, but still, that should be, you know? Yeah. It should be only really for snipers. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But now I can two-shot headshot. Yeah. Still bad, but better. Yeah. Right. So you have to get lucky. The, so they pulled a McCree on him. Not really. Yeah. McCree can't no, no, him. McCree is last word. You can <laughs> unload the gun, shoot the entire fucking thing, and you can kill a dude without even, like, it just aiming in his general direction, and yeah. you don't need to be right in front of him. Yes. You could be, like, a mile away from this dude and just go, dun, 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 and you just see, like... Oh, look, I headshot him like six times, you know? <laughs> and he's dead. And I'm like, ah, okay, let me just reload and do that again. At least you can miss with the creep. Yeah. Yeah. Thank God. yeah. yeah. They, they, then they there's bullet drop. drop. Like, for last word, yeah. there barely is. But now, now it's definitely changed. Okay, it's so definitely they, changed. They, yeah. they, they, they they fixed, there was lots of bad stuff. They fixed a lot of their mistakes yeah. from the original. Destiny is Bungie, right? Yes. Yeah. Right. Bungie, right. which, is, which, the pub with, which their publisher is teaching them. Yeah. Yeah, Bungie's the development team. Yeah. See, that's another thing that we also, that we take account into when it comes to companies. Like, Massive made good games. I mean, they made World of Conflict a really fun, you know, RTS game. It was really in-depth, you know, unit mechanics, all that cool shit. And then they went and got contracted by Ubisoft, and probably Ubisoft's resources were like, okay, here's a fax machine and a, and a 1980 printer. All right, make a video game. Go ahead. <laughs> Because that's what it feels like. The, the, the division just feels like a jumbled mess of... Uh, and, and I kind of have to say it. that that's pretty much how Destiny was. Like, I remember that I would talk to Arlos about it, like, you know, back in the day when it first came out. He's like, man, assault rifles were stupid OP when it first started. And I'm oh, like, yeah. what the hell? There, nobody fucking uses an assault rifle back then. It was like back in... Yeah, that when was when, we when I started, yeah. it was like... Why? Who the fuck is using an assault rifle? That shit's worthless. You're talking about the vision, right? No, 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 no. no, 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 no. no, no. In Destiny. Destiny. No, Destiny. I was about to say, yeah, yeah. the assault rifle. Well, yeah, the assault rifle. Like they do a lot of damage. They, well, but they do, but the thing is, they have, su they oh. have such a heavy kick with stability yeah, that you have to throw those mods on there. 
and you sacrifice damage output from like using things like crit damage, crit chance, yeah, exactly. attack speed, yeah. because you're gonna have to compensate for that heavy recoil, or you gotta keep getting guns that eventually give you that talent that yeah. gives you stability. Which is why so you're talking about just, you're yeah. talking about the stupidity that you no, no, hold no, off in Destiny. No, 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 no. I'm I'm just saying like there's balance <laughs> issues in Destiny that look very similar to that of Division. Like yeah. they're gun they're guns that nobody uses. Yeah. You know that this yeah. is back in year one. This yeah. is back like when when I when I started. Yeah. There were guns that nobody used. There was guns that everyone used, and then there was guns that the people that wanted to challenge used. Yeah. You know, and it was like that shouldn't be. You're playing a shooter. You know, yeah. every gun should be viable in its own way. Yeah. You know? Every gun is shooting a bullet, yeah. and a bullet is supposed to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> and at you... that point, it was what did the most damage the fastest, which was it wasn't an assault rifle. It was a hand cannon. Yeah. So that's why everyone used the hand cannon. It totally depends on the, the shooter, though, because if you look at Halo, Halo's similar to Destiny in that your character has, like, armor and crap, right? Yeah, yeah but so, every gun is viable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every, every, Halo, every, 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 every gun in Halo, Halo is... They've done a great yeah, job yeah, balancing. Which, which Halo are we talking about, though? Because this the is, most like, recent Halo. Yeah, yeah, not okay. Halo 1. Halo 1, you could kill people, like, Josh. Uh, the the magnet would cross the map with the, with, the, with the zoom in. I always think of Halo 2 when I think of Halo. I think of the dual-wielding SMGs and all that stuff. I thought that was relatively balanced. Yeah, actually, Halo 2 was relatively balanced. Yes, no, it, was, it was, it was. It Maybe was, you was, can get sniper like, shotgun and you probably wreck that. Bro, you I can pick up a plasma thought, pistol and still be viable. Because yeah. if you freaking had a guy come out of core and you... You... Boom! Yeah. They're dead. I thought like, the strongest thing in Halo 2 was, was the needler. Yes. Oh. Like, I... <laughs> personally, <laughs> it was. But personally, it was one of those things that nobody yeah. used, but the homing with that thing was, was retarded. Yeah, you didn't they, even have to be good at aiming. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't. No, it was stupid. I, that's why. Like, I barely used it because I, I didn't like using it. But whenever I was like, I want to cheese people, I just pull out the needler. I'm just like, okay, I'm going to... Aim this way or that way, and this thing's just gonna turn and you know follow you around for a mile, and then you're just gonna explode. Yeah, you know but it was it was pretty strong. Even past all armor and stuff like that, we're like the main topic here is division, and when all your guns shoot bullets, and you're wearing a freaking beanie on your head, and you're shooting somebody in the face. Hey man, yeah, that's a beanie. Yeah, apparently that's a power beanie, everyone power is apparently beanie. wearing Kevlar stitch clothing. That's uh, that's an Kevlar. Anime. No, no, it's Kevlar stitch skin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You fucking shoot him in the face, and it's like, oh, I did 30% of your health. Yeah. That's I'm why sorry. I like Siege so much. Yeah. Seriously. You shoot someone in the face, Any gun. Dead. Any gun. Dead. Yeah, but all right, how do you balance that? Unless, you, of course, you it's shoot very, him in the face. No, 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 but hold on, because it's an, it's a, it's an no. MMO kind of thing. Yes. Yeah. MMO, FP, or third Here's person Here's how you balance shooter, it. Right? You give somebody fucking face armor. Yeah. Fucking give them a helmet to wear. For fuck's sake, it's not that hard. And do you realize how small that hitbox is? If Even if they have a helmet like this, yeah. this little tiny area... First of all, you get shot here, you probably you, yeah. you can live. I know what you mean. But like, if they actually made hit detection legitimate, that would be awesome. Yeah. If you shot somebody in the leg and it crippled them after two shots, that would be fantastic. Yeah. And then if you shoot somebody in the face and they're not wearing, Do, doesn't that because, happen though in, in division? Like if you shoot somebody in the it, leg, doesn't no, that like no, 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 you no, actually no, do less damage? It, what it yeah. does, what it, I, mean, I thought, I thought it like it, made a limp or something. No, no, no. It does cause a stagger, but it's very rare that those staggers occur. You, you have, have to, to you have to literally put like forty five rounds in their leg. In which case they should just see them run and then they'll kind of like trip a little and then they'll get the But they they lose momentum, but they're still going. That's the thing that's weird. Like there's no real stagger or flinching. Yeah. So like if there's a guy running at me with a golf club and I shoot a shot gun at his kneecaps like he's gonna still have his kneecaps yes, yes. yeah yes. but but what should happen is his legs should be blown off oh. he should be crawling at me with this golf club <laughs> pretty much yeah. that or screaming in pain while his teammates are yeah, this is a game. Side. This yeah. is a game. He's yeah. gonna want to hit me with the golf club anyway. Yeah. yeah. The thing, the thing that's that's funny though, like we keep going back to the old RPG th mechanic to it, but like I still remember when they showcased, like you know, when you got a gun for completing yeah. a mission. You remember that beautiful scene that they oh open the case. It shows the, the oh, operator yeah. grab the gun, lifts it up, and then it shows all the stats, that, that, the, the modifications. modifications that you can put on the gun. This is, and you're like, wow. And it didn't show that green, white, blue bullshit oh, that yeah. was there. Yeah. This is my. <laughs> Personally, this is my most hated thing of the entire game is the fact that I don't get that feeling of satisfaction when I freaking when somebody drops a gun. Yeah. Like I hate the fact that in the freaking EA trailer, they're like, "We're gonna give you something awesome at the end of the PVE mission. You may get stuff in between, but you're gonna get something cool. You're gonna open up this case. There's gonna be an awesome gun, and it looks like from the from the trailer, only one person can use that gun. Yeah, like it's only it's only a gun that one person is gonna has, take. Yeah, yeah. but it's shared loot. It was so cool. It was like you picked up this fucking awesome looking Scar H, and again, it shows everything like it showed. It even, it even X-rayed and showed the bullets in the magazine, yeah, yeah. like how many it had. 
That was amazing. And in this game, all I get is a freaking colored pillar of yeah, light. Yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's literally like awesome. <laughs> rainbow game. Rainbow game. And, and you know what's funny? They're copying literally work, like, step by step of the flaws of making an action RPG. Because let's face it, that's what this is. It's an action RPG. It's what it's become. Yeah. Ar- an action RPG shooter. Diablo 3. Where you aim your they're, spells. They're, they are literally following Jay Wilson's steps within Diablo 3 in making this game unbearably, like, grindy. Unbearably grindy. And just pushing on to its, its consumer and player base, like, just do it. Just, just, just keep playing the game. The, the grindy features is what makes the game the game. That shouldn't be it. Just keep getting DLC. It should yeah. never be it. No, it, it, shouldn't, yeah. it, it shouldn't. It really shouldn't. Because, like, I, I had a problem. I, I even talked about Mark when I was looking at it. I had a problem with the whole kind of loot concept. It's just like, it, do, it doesn't set a taste in my mouth. It's, it's, it's unsettling oh, yeah. when you see a Tom Clancy game with loot. Because, yeah. let's face it, the, uh, as great as Siege is, there's only one really good Tom Clancy game I always go back to, and that's Rainbow Six Vegas 2. I fucking love that game. <laughs> I love that game. Like you, like you understand yes. what I mean? Yes. Like, I don't think the camera gets. No. Me. Is the camera <laughs> yeah. gets me? Fuck yes, so it excited. does. Okay. No, I'm sorry. I love Rainbow Six. It's one of the funnest games I have ever played. Yeah. Like seriously. best factors of that game, the customization features. If they allowed for you to do what you could do in Rainbow Six Vegas, in Siege, or the Division, like for example, in, in Siege. I mean, in uh, Vegas 2, you had grades of armor that affected your ability to take hits. Yep. They could have implemented that system into the division, and you would have had a game with RPG mechanics and still be viable as a shooter. Yep. Because the thing is, it would every difficulty would then be the same. It would be just like the way uh, Vegas 2 ran. Vegas 2 had, what was it, three difficulties. We had easy, normal, realistic. Yep. Okay? That's how it ran. Realistic. Is it was realistic. realistic and even normal. You could do, you could take like three body shots and yeah. that's it. Realistic, you could take a body shot if you're sixty feet away from a target with a shotgun. No okay. health bar, by the way. Yeah, it was either blood blood felt screen or, or you're fine. fine. <laughs> or, or no, or just <laughs> dim <laughs> screen and you can't see anything. Yeah, okay. and by which you're almost gonna get shot in the face because the enemy is smart enough to pursue you. And, and even Rainbow Six Vegas 2 had its unrealistic factors. Yeah. But it was still so much fun, like the fact that it took a shotgun. And yeah. you're sitting behind a line, you go, boom! And, you just hit and exactly. like around the corner, like, you could still kill somebody. The blind cover fun. felt great. Like, yes. What you do for yes. blind cover in the division is literally to save your life, and that's about it. You don't, yeah. you don't shoot around the corner, blind fire in the division, because you don't want to waste the ammunition, which you need. Yes. Which is ridiculous to say in a, in a shooter that you need to kill the mob. Yes. Because it's that bullet spongy. Just doesn't make sense. Oh, um, man. But Angry Joe did it. Angry Joe hit it pretty hard yeah, on that Yeah, he one. did. He, uh, <laughs> his, 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 the sponge. His, yeah, the sponge. Yeah. The machine to that. It was great. But, like, you see what I mean? Like, Vegas 2 had touched on that, that aspect that everyone was like, that's amazing. Yes. I can put color schemes on my own body armor. I can select my own body armor. Yeah. I can put on my own like you know combat rigging and everything. Yeah. And you look like a you you felt like an you, operator. Seriously. So, so you look like a badass. You felt like a badass. So all right. So maybe what they need is like all right. So they make them less bullet spongy. Make it so you can kill them with less hits. Yeah. But they actively try to stay behind cover, and then their medics are actually more active. Because yeah. I've noticed the medics in Division kind of sit well, back. The they do more DPS than they heal. <laughs> no, no, no. no. They, no. They're on the, the support station, and if you shoot it once, you just send them, like, bolts to wherever they are, and they're <laughs> just like... It doesn't matter. They're, because here's the thing. They become the, that guy from Battlefield that's there with the tank just there with the little fucking... Yeah. He's the engineer torch. just... Just, 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 just gotcha, torching bro. or using a spanner to repair it. Yeah. yeah and, like, and, like, like, fuck, and like you could be shooting him, but you're not going to be doing shit. I'm pretty sure that support station is made station of like, keeping alive. Okay. Yeah. Or something, too. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. a backpack. It's, you're going to blow it up. It's it's not, yeah, it's literally a backpack that just opens up and like, here's a bandage. All oh, right! I've no longer got a gunshot wound. Yeah, a bandage that can reach but, you from a mile away. But David, what, what, you're, forget, what you're touching upon, like, uh, what you're touching upon is really, uh, it's a real eye-opening uh, look at uh, the division where, where it lacks. Okay. Because, like, you know, like what we were talking about, like, let's say we introduce the grades of armor that actually have, like, resistances to them, yeah. and just get rid of, like, I, I know it's going to piss a lot of people off, like, get rid of the set concepts, but, like, here's the thing, it can still work as an RPG, it's just that... It's not gonna be solely based on the loot mechanic alone because that's not really what makes. Well, it kind of does make an RPG, but what actually would set it apart would be the variety in the gear that you can attain and the amount of 
like weapon diversity there is because let's face it in the division there is no weapon diversity. Yeah. You either have one tech tier of the submachine gun or one tier with of the, the right perks. Right perks. Yeah. Have right. to have those perks. <coughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Because you see, it's so it's, diabolesque. It's that, it, yeah, it's so diabolesque yeah, so, yeah. that it's painful. Rerolling. Yeah. yeah. Like Destiny, what they did that was good was yeah, you got to reroll, but the only thing you're rerolling is a certain like you can only reroll between like eight different perks mm-hmm. and it's really you know yeah you can get a god roll but you can also get a really good roll too yeah and it's not like you're looking for individual stats where in division you, you can have, have one to... amazing roll and then everything else can be shit for, you know if you, if and you... it's like now i gotta reroll it even though i had this perfect roll mm-hmm. yeah, for, yeah. for for freaking destiny it's like okay i had a perfect roll and then a decent one I'm okay with that. Yeah, you know? yeah. And you could keep rolling. You yeah, could you just keep going and, or you keep rolling, changing it, or the, you can yeah. keep going. You could roll for, like you could get a decent amount of impact and then you get the perk that uh, like can like, give you an increased range. Now hold that for one second. Are you excited? No no no. No, we were we were getting excited. Like seriously. The one of the things I also hate about the vision, like that in the time in the time we're getting, not only do you need what the right weapon perks, what don't you ever use? But like, I'm talking ever. Even though they gave it a perk that is supposed to like give it the a shield. A, no, the pistol. Oh, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you never. Not here. Going pistol. back to Rainbow Six Vegas. You know, I don't need a fucking pistol. I don't need a. I don't need a gun. You know what I want? A fucking pistol. raging bull that I go. God, you're fucking dead. Yes. That is the best feeling when you fucking walk in and go. Poosh, and the guy is dead, and your yeah. gun has a fucking recoil the size of Mount Everest on your fucking yeah, head. Yeah, that's how you. Yeah. That's that's what I love about the double barrel shotgun in the division. Except it yes. kind of sucks. Yeah, like if I want it to be more OP. Yeah. That'd be hilarious. It, it, yeah, because you're walking around with a gun that's like used to hunt a fucking elephant. Yeah. So <laughs> it doesn't make sense for you to be like, bam! I just shot a guy with a fucking ski mask that apparently is made of fucking adamantium, <laughs> and he just looks at me and then just pulls out his AK-47, sprays in eight directions with pinpoint accuracy. And Kills my entire team. Yeah, <laughs> and they're like, "Well, who, who did I just fight? Did I just fight every action hero molded into one guy?" Mind you, if you find the right guy in the dark zone, he can do that too. Oh, let's not talk about that. <laughs> hey, remember? Hey, let's start leveling up in the dark zone. We're going through. We're we're we're, we're clear. We clear out an area, and then out of fucking nowhere, ba, 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 ba. One, we got one guy. He doesn't even use his security ulti. No, we shoot him, but it's like we were throwing fucking like paper pebbles at him. You. And it's then a pillowcase, but it's got, it's got some rocks in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love but, that. But, that was the best yeah. analogy I've ever heard. It's terrible. It's terrible. <laughs> that that aspect. You were throwing pillows at him. Yeah, because like, you, you, you see, you see, that's what yeah. I mean. Like, it, like I would. You see, an action RPG should, doesn't necessarily need to be so dependent on gear, the stat distribution there, but rather the mechanics <laughs> that you implement into that gear. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like. I love the, like the cool thing about the division is when you look at the, the the flat stats on the gun, like you look at its fire rate and everything like that. Let's leave that alone. But you see those stats underneath it? Take that shit away. Just, <laughs> just take it away. You don't need it. All right. Those like, are called talents. Exactly. Those are what you choose to have. It's, those are actually what you develop as a shooter. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you Seriously. learn to, to stabilize your weapon in you real life. And that brings me to something really cool that you know I, that you guys said you wanted to talk about. We haven't touched up on it yet, and I think it's important. Mm-hmm. Um, class diversity. Yeah. Because if That's you have, so true. Yes. Yeah. No. Because now you can pretty much do whatever you want, whatever you want. Yeah. It's pretty bloated. You can yeah. you can be whatever you want to be at yeah. any time. Pretty yeah. much. Yeah. It's very easy to switch yeah. between things. And I think it'd be really cool if you have like a guy that's just security straight up, like a guy that's a juggernaut. That he doesn't yeah. do a whole lot of damage. He's got a pistol or a double barrel yeah. shotgun and a shield. Yeah. And he, but he can just sit there and be his bullet sponge because yeah. he's got Kevlar everywhere. Yeah. yeah. And he's like, a shield. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, you see what like that would be cool as shit to see yes. them implement that that whole yeah. thing we're talking about, like the tiers of armor. Seriously. Holy yeah. shit! This guy's there. The guy who would play um, power, what was it? Tech. Yo. The tech guy would and be. And how cool would it be if they can use flamethrowers too? Yeah. Oh, that'd but, be pretty cool. Yeah. Like you know how the ball. Like it here's the, no no no. Like the, I get, no 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 like I see what you mean there but like <laughs> maybe it's like an ability uh, yeah they, they, they pull out a flamethrower for like a little bit yeah like the like the actual bosses that walk around that are for the cleaners yeah, yeah. Or, 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 or you mean the ones so that terrify the shit out of you yeah, yeah because, 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 because seriously because, it'd be cool it'd be like they have CC now because yeah, they're yeah. like they're taking a lot of damage but now they need they need a breathing yeah. room so they pull out a flamethrower for a little bit and they just go pff, like maybe a or, flare gun or, or they or could implement the uh, feature that is in siege that one of the operators blit yeah they could combine Montaigne and Blitz's ability. Yeah. And you know what they could take out? They could take out that most exploited bullshit device in the game. Oh my the fucking, fucking God, mobile the, cover. The, head, oh. the, the mobile cover. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> no, no, we're talking about. But, but there was a point in the game where you could shoot the guy's earmuffs and you could actually okay. damage him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that funny. was what was really funny about Siege. Now that we think about it, which they actually caught on to really fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And thank God, Wait, yeah, you can shoot their earmuffs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's another. They, they actually, they yeah, actually there fixed was, it. There was, they fixed it. Yeah, they saw it. They're like. There was an operator, right? He had a smaller shield than everybody else, but here was the best part about this operator. He was his own mobile flashbang. He could just walk up to someone, bam, you're blind. And the person's scared out of their mind, shooting in all directions like they're trying to hit Predator. And then you shoot them right in the fucking face, and then they're there on the floor. But here's the problem. Because his shield was smaller, and because your head was bigger, you had these earmuffs stick out. Okay. And if you were a marksman, you would just be like there, looking, all right, there he is. There's that earmuff. You're not even looking for the rest of his face. It's just his earmuff. And you shoot that earmuff, and apparently you give the guy such heavy tinnitus that he dies instantaneously. <laughs> it's just that that seizure. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. But like in the sense of armor, I think they're kind of heading in the right direction with the new t with the new armor sets because yeah. I've noticed first before the armor sets were a thing, even if you're full fucking firearms, you have sixty five percent damage reduction. Yeah. Because you have max armor because apparently all the gear in the game just had that much fucking armor. Which yep. pissed me off. If you're gonna go full firearms, the firearms gear should not have armor. Or have very little. Yeah. Like, that's not it. There's no movement speed. There's no movement speed changes. Like, if you're fully decked in armor, you should not be that you fast. Be you should total. be slow. That's, why, you be that's so why I like to Vegas 2. Vegas 2, you moved like a fucking ant walking around in heavy armor, but yeah. you're like, hey, please shoot nah, me. I dare you. You'd be like a tortoise. You'd just be yeah. walking around like, all right. Yeah, but, but you could actually take the hits because that's what you're designed for. Yeah. yeah. In, in the, in, um,. Division right now, there's no need for a tank, especially in the dark zone. You, well, the you thing can't is, do the anything. Thing is, you are your own tank because of the way the armor's designed. So like, you shoot a guy in the face, he's just like, <laughs> yeah, like he shot me. I can't believe he fucking shot me. Well, let's not forget the, the cure to all bullet hole wounds, no matter where you may be shot. <laughs> yes, a stick. <laughs> you just. <laughs> I need more adrenaline. I'm not gonna get a heart attack. Yes. <laughs> yes. Bullets Drops. everywhere, but you're like, all right, yeah. I'm good. You you all you have apparently a fucking Wolverine's uh, regeneration serum yes. if you all at all times. Yeah. yeah. They 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 perfected it in the divisions universe. Just like Minecraft. <laughs> you all of a sudden you press your freaking thing and you've got like fifty arrows coming out of your face, but you had armor, so you're. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was um, still funny. But yeah, like I really do think that there should be like specific classes so that when you do a challenge mode or an incursion, you have that one guy that's like, all right, this guy's the tank. He's gonna be he's gonna walk in and direct all the fire in one direction. Yeah. The, the firearms guy is just gonna like blow up whatever needs to be blown up, and the electronics guy is gonna be in charge of CC crowd control. Yeah, you know, doing what he needs to do. And if there's an objective, he's the guy taking care of the objective. Yeah, like you know, stuff would like it that. How cool would it be? Like they could even add instead of it being three, they could have four. Mm -hmm. You know, they have the tech or the firearms. Well, they have firearms. Have too. I forgot they have firearms, mean. healer, security, tech. Yeah, yeah. How good would that be? That would you be have good. tech who's strictly CC or like has some kind of like stationary like deterrent damage. Yeah. Which is like, you know, it's mainly for suppression, you know, CC. Yeah, yeah. but because then, it's tech, it's, it's strong too. You can't just like pop him up and You'd be dead. like, you know, like the tech would be like, you know, a medium tanky. And he'll be the guy who's literally behind the tank making sure he doesn't get shot by anything yeah. from any side. And Firearms guys take out the snipers and the yeah. medic guys healing anyone that takes damage. Yeah, and correct me yeah. if I'm wrong, but when you th once you throw the turret, you don't think about that turret anymore. No, no you don't. Like it's, it's always there. It's How cool would it be if you could literally manually like stay behind your cover and tell your turret like... You could be looking at what it's doing and be like, all right, you can't shoot that guy, shoot this guy because he's out of cover trying to move. Yeah, like, for example, I awesome. you. You were talking yeah, about yeah, that. Like, yeah. you can pull out the little yeah, thing like, and you can say, okay, I want this guy to target that there's one. There's a character that has an interface device that can detect electronics, right? But here's what we cool in the Division. Since this is an electronically savvy universe, <laughs> that you create a device that you can use as a tech user that allows you to control your devices. For example, like, you could even do it with Seeker Minds. Yeah. Like, people would yeah. probably complain this is OP and PvP, but it here's the thing. It also makes you vulnerable to you other people to look at your because Rolex. you're looking at your device. Yeah, yeah. you're looking at your Rolex yeah. because you're the, the luckiest hobo in all of New York. Yeah, but you know what? Yeah. It'll also give your Rolex something important to do rather than just look at Echoes. Yeah. 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 And I know that it's like, yeah, there's some videos where you see a guy pull out the BFB and be like, Doom! Boosh, and an entire squad dies. That's only because they were all the extraction. They had no cover to the system, and you're building full tech. Yeah. Why can't there be another thing you can use that can actually do damage with something other than a gun? Yeah. Like the only thing you can kill somebody with is a gun, and it's only if you go full firearms and you're like, ah, I've got the powerful gun to work. Yeah. Like that's just stupid yeah. as shit. Yeah. You and there's no bullet types. 
No. Like, yeah, you can. Yeah. But yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You there's the thing. There's the thing. Sub no, 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 no. I just no, what he means. He means yeah. the actual caliber yeah, like, and, there's like, no... and grades of ammunition. Yeah. Armor, like, full metal jacket versus hollow point. Exactly. There's okay. no, there's no frag, like, there's no armor piercing rounds. There's no normal ballpoint rounds. There's no incendiary rounds. There's nothing like well, that. Well, there is incendiary rounds. Okay, fine. Incendiary and explosive rounds, but those aren't, those are just, like, special. Like, yeah. How cool would it be, like, if tracers can, like, if you hit someone, it actually it pulses them. Pulses them. Yeah. That would be crazy. Cool. Like, yeah, yeah, there's the thing that, like, if you headshot them, like you have a chance to pull them. No, you take away that perk, and you put it as an ammunition type, and you give way to have a perk that's actually you know a little what? bit better. And I want a Steve Irwin class. I want a Steve Irwin class. You just walk around with a tranquilizer, and you put people to sleep. That's it. And you have a dog. And there's a reason for the canine unit. Yes, and you can yes, now the canine units can do something. You fucking put the guy to sleep, and the dog eats them. So you go, excellent. That's how you keep him alive. Yeah. No, I think it would be funny, but no, whatever. No, like, that would, no but actually, be you bring up a good point. What if you could actually shoot an ammunition that, like, its whole purpose is to disorient them? Yeah, you see, see, and you put them. It somewhere. was actually an effective disorient. Like, there's a reason you shouldn't pop up out of cover because this guy is—if he shoots you, you're not gonna be able to hit shit for me. Yeah. You're not gonna hit the broad side of a barn yeah. because you're just like. Good. The thing that you could do, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> what they could exactly. implement is what the fucking turret has—that shock turret. Yeah. Because yes. the thing is, you fire at a slower rate. Makes sense. You have to fire. Yes. Put the ammunition in there. Fire again. It makes sense. It, your gun is no longer like a semi-automatic or fully automatic. It's its own bolt-action weapon now. Yeah. And by applying that damage on it, you keep the mob sustained in CC. Yeah. And that would be cool. Do you see? That, that's that's the thing. You can broaden your game. Yes. Not just keep it at this fucking swamp level of a game that, that it is that, that's completely uncomfortable. Completely meta heavy. Yeah. yeah. And you know you what? See, you, that's the thing that's also a problem with, with MMO RPGs. Like, let's make meta. Okay, okay, hold on. It's not just MMOs though. Yeah. Because I think this is a good time to start talking about one of our favorite games from back in the day. Don't get it. Yes. That game was at, at, at the beginning there was no real meta, honestly. Yes. Well, I mean, that's the same with every... People started uh, to figure out Zeri, Zeri was ridiculous. If you didn't yeah. have Zeri, you were fucked, but... But, but in the end... Angle. Yeah, but in the end, you could still get away with anything. We did the stupidest shit, and it still worked, oh, until yeah. they started doing the puzzle thing. But, like, they also had an awesome, uh, what do you call it, store. Mm -hmm. When you go, you buy your shit. Like, you can buy one item, right? And then that item has different trees yes. that you can branch off into, right? Yeah. You don't have to go down the same thing. Like, you could decide halfway through, like, because you just buy one item, and then you advance it, right? Yeah. And then you can decide, all right, these guys kind of suck. They don't have a lot of damage. They're just building kind of tanky. So I'm going to build this health item that I got into armor penetration or yeah. more damage. Or like now I get like this cool damage buff or whatever. Yeah. Right? Or attack speed, movement speed, something like that. So you can decide halfway through the game, like, I don't want to be tank anymore. I want to go damage. And you can still, you can yeah, do that. You can transition yeah. easily. Because exactly. I know what you mean. The problem with MOBAs is they have that aspect, but it's only for one type of item. Yeah. It's just like, you can either be really Fucking heavy attack damage, but slow, or really fast attack damage, a fast attack speed, and moderate damage. Yeah. But they don't have that ability that you can branch out to any other possibility. Yeah. So Doggett yeah. was cool like that because it was like, at, at any point in time, you could really just decide yeah. which way you want to go, it, more so than any other MOBA. Because you can do that in other MOBAs for sure. Yeah. yeah. But it's not as, you can't do it as quickly yeah. as the application the is in it isn't yeah. there for you to just. Yeah, exactly, and I thought that was so fun. But Dawn Gate was, no, it was. fun. It, in and most then, mobas, it's like they have, and you know, they have what, standard builds for items do? and stuff like that. What but, do they fucking do when it's oh, good? Oh man, it's going. Everything's going. Fat. Well, the puzzle system that they had going on was pretty uh, questionable. They, what they should have done is they really should have just taken it, put it there, test to see if it works, and then when you see what everyone's saying, you know, it's not really working, take it out, fix it up, change it, put something new in. Because it, yeah, it was still in beta. It was still early beta. beta. Yeah, oh, yeah. Know? And it was a fantastic had, game. Yeah. They had it was lore. more finished than Division ever hoped it could be. <laughs> they had fucking lore. That game, like, you could go online and yeah. read, like, basically books on each character. And it was oh, funny. And each character yeah. had their own personality that, like, bro, Renzo was inspired, bro. That fucking chest. That fucking yeah, Renzo was uh, inspired. He made statues of himself and he killed people with it. Yeah, I thought that was his hilarious. Ult, his ulti is to craft a humongous mud statue of himself that actually looked beautiful. And it was always like, he walked around like, like this. It was always different too. The statue would, like, appeared differently, like him you flexing might. in a different way. Like it was great. Yes. They had the hipster mage Zalas. Yes. Oh, they had the artist. Awesome. The artist. They had the artist. That bitch. Yeah, yeah I remember. Was. She was great. And then they had fucking. They had Stitch basically. Yeah. From Lilo and Stitch. Vex. Yeah, Vex. They and had. Uh, and then they had Darius. Yeah, uh, yeah. Cerulean. <laughs> Cerulean. Darius. He was pretty Square still, rectangle. Yeah. Yes, Square Tango was the best. Launch the eel, the eel guy. What was his name? Which guy? Wait, you talking about the alligator? 
No, no, no. He had an eel. It was the, it was the otter and the Oh, eel. yeah, that otter dude. That oh, yeah. That was cool. Oh, yeah. That was OP. Uh, I forget what her name was, though. It was a chick. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, no, you don't. I forget what she was, but she had an eel. She was OP. She and, then there was, cool. and, yeah. and then there was Freya. There was Freya. Freya. Her yeah. She was all, like, she had a, she had a decent deal because you couldn't just go in. Double she would explode. But she could do some serious yeah. damage. But I love the game because each character had its own unique personality. The Master of Masks! Yes! No, no, tentacle Hentai! Yeah, tentacle Hentai! Yeah, best fucking dude. character in the yeah, game. I fucking love oh that God. guy. And his storyline was hilarious. Yeah, too. That's pretty yeah, funny. Yeah, I, I, like, they add humorous uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. elements to it, but it was still... And it was yay! Yeah, right? ga- there we go. That's the word I'm looking for. A lot of games lack that now. Engaging, you know, mechanics. Yeah. Like, holy shit, I can do anything! Mm-hmm. Alright, I'm not limited to being like, alright, let me go on the internet and see what the fucking... Well, we're, we're a little, oh. we're being a little bit hypocritical because we're saying, you know, how division we feel like we should, you know. Do. Well, that's the no, thing. No, 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 no. What he's talking about is I'm metas. Ta- yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 against oh, metas. Oh, oh, I'm against metas. Right. You go, you right. go on. Uh, I don't even know what it is right it's now. It's like freaking. Uh, no, you go to Mobifier or whatever, yeah. and then you look up your League of Legends bill. It's like yeah. this yeah. is how you play Darius. You get this item, this item, this item, and then the rest are optional. But you need to have those three items, right? For sure. And there's certain characters that you can only have like that set. Specific build. Yeah. But in this game, yeah, there's certain items that you get that are good, but you need to look at what the other team is a lot of the yeah. time, too. Yeah. You need like, to specifically build to the other team. You need to. There's no... You have no options. I'll give you a very specific one, because everybody hates him. My favorite character was Vex. Fuck you. I love Vex. Vex was great. Vex was a ra- your classic ranged, oh, I got increased attack speed and I got damage, stuff like that. But his ulti was he would shoot somebody, and behind him in a cone, it would do damage. But here's the thing. If you built Vex the same way every time, you would not win 50% of the time. With Vex, you could either go hard damage because they had tanks that you need to eat their armor because they were always in the front line. You couldn't avoid them being in the front line because that's like how the game was. Or if they didn't have tanks, guess what? It's time to go heavy attack speed and percentage damage. You go da 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 da, and the entire yeah. team would yeah. melt. You could either go shred or damage. It was beautiful. Yeah. It was and I love awesome that the mechanics that they though. had that now they have in Paragons, right? It's a very similar mechanic. Yeah. That you had to you had to go and you have to capture these separate nodes that would give XP to your team. Yeah, yeah. junglers yes. had more of a, of a role than yes. just farm the jungle and gank. Yeah. Yes. They had a role of like they controlled the economy of your group. Yeah. Because they had to in stop theirs. Thing. Because remember, yeah, the harvesters are similar. But the major difference is the harvesters in in Dawngate would spawn minions that would harvest for you. Yes. And then and when you kill them, it slows so down it, their economy. It copies yes. from like and it was every basic RTS then. Like yeah. You yeah. just take out exactly. the, the, the workers of any faction and then you deploy yes. them. Exactly. Yes. And then when you stand on the thing, it, it, that's, it, a, that's it great to see Exactly. That they did it right. It yeah. was amazing. Like once you captured it for a, for a short amount of time, you, were, you had it locked. You exactly. had that thing. But then the enemy could come contest you if you yeah. wanted. But if they were doing that in an unsmart fashion, like your entire team is still up, I can just push your entire that's wave and kill one of your towers, and you just lost a tower. And in MOBAs, that's huge. And what I loved about it is that you'd have to fight over it sometimes. You'd yeah. be like, they have Another such an fucking advantage. awesome thing fight. was every tower can come back. Yes. Yes. Remember? Yes. If, they, if people stop pushing for a long enough time, they can get their towers all the way back to the top of the lane. Yeah. You'd think, you'd think that that would all, oh, but that would delay the game. You know, it doesn't. No. It doesn't at all. Because, because if you get one good team fight, one good push, you can finish the game starting from their most, like, their farthest tower up. Yeah. You could, yeah. Yeah. You could. So, it like, was, and the mid fight, fine. oh my god, the boss was in the middle of the map. Like, I'm talking, it doesn't matter what lane you're in, you could get to that boss in, yeah. like, four seconds. It was in the exact middle of the map. It was yeah. right there. It was so awesome. No one had land advantage. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't like the top laner can get to it faster. Yeah. And the terrain right. was really, was really crucial in that. Like, there was, there was a couple walls you could get over them with a few characters. But I'm talking like this wall was amazing because if you did get over with it with like a flash and also you had like some summoner spells that you could pick, yeah, like you yeah. had a flash. But, but everybody the summoner spells, they were all pretty good though. I mean, the yes. one, one that most people would get always is the flash one, right? Because yeah. that's, that's the same yeah, all around. Yeah, because it's an escape. Because you can like, jump because, like, the thing is, like, not every character has an escape. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Like, exactly. Like, exactly. But when yeah. every character has, and that's the other thing, yeah. you bought them at the beginning of the game. Yeah. You could pick. You could look at the team and be like, "Wait, don't you get one though, or did you get? Both? You get two. No, you get two. Yeah. No, but like you buy one in the beginning, and the second one you get later. Exactly. Right? Yes. yes. No, you so, got three. Yeah. Oh, you oh, got oh, three. Right. Remember? Yeah. And you got to choose. Like, and when you start, you get one, and then w- when you reach level like so, like halfway point, you get a second, and when you reach max yes. level, you get a third. So exactly. Yes. I remember that was fucking cool yeah. though. And then, because it, cool. it was something like League, you have to choose it in the beginning. Like, yes. before you even start the game, really. Like, it doesn't allow you to adapt You don't see what their team is. Exactly. You don't even see what their team is. Well, actually, in, in, in rank, you do. Rank you but, team, but that, let's face it. Like, but that, everyone uses the same one. shit. Nobody yeah. uses yeah. Yeah. Rank, points in rank, anymore. It's everyone still uses exhaust, heal, or flash. Yeah. yeah. 
And All sometimes right, we do course. really funny combinations. Like we'd get that shit that it would increase our damage and attack speed. Yeah. Right up and we'd hide in a fucking bush. And they'd show up and we'd just go <laughs> and they'd fucking die and it was hilarious, bro. And you yeah. got a good early game lead. Yeah. It was awesome. Yeah, and then we would just stay. They'd have one that, that you'd uh, put a dot on the guy, I think, and then it would heal yeah. you for the damage yeah. you did. That, was that one was another good one. That was great for junglers actually, because the junglers you want to get the smite thing that they had. Yeah, they had a smite. But but the dot was hilarious because sometimes instead of smiting, you could just wait until the freaking, uh, the jungler, you go to his camp with somebody else, like your mid, and yeah. then you just wait there. Ninja. And then right when he's about to finish it, you kill him and you ninja it. Yeah. And that's it. Like, and that's how we do it. I'm going to insert my Freya clip here. Yeah, that's when we were yeah. inserting Freya clip. That was beautiful. I'm sorry. And I also want to insert that Mikella clip because, bro. Oh, dude, 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 so powerful, like when it's like she's throwing coins at you. No, but, but then when you ulti and the impact, the way that it, they made it sound sounded so like yeah, and it's like, it hurt, it's like man. Nova it from Hots though. Like you can get in front of it and take the hits for your friend. Yeah, but it was so fast. Yeah, it though. hurt. It was so fast. Fucking yeah. Hurt. And the thing about hers is every consecutive hit did more damage. Remember? Yeah. It was like the first one did 100, then 150, and then it just went higher and higher. <laughs> shit, do I have glitter on my face? <laughs> For real. Oh, like, we've shit. been touching this. Yeah. Do I, I've been touching my face. Do I have glitter? Yeah, see it. I kind of just realized we have, like, yeah, this, this table is, like, glitter. In. I just realized yeah. that, too. <laughs> I have yeah, a shine. This is glitter on my face. face. Yes. That makes us all look Good thing I haven't been touching this table at all. Man, you guys look beautiful. Yeah. Oh, we're so shiny. We're hand models now. Look at that. We've listened. Hey y'all, I'm so glad that I took this table saw, this yeah. tablecloth, it was beautiful. <laughs> y'all, I went to Joanne's, man, and there was like, there was no tablecloth. It all sucked. And then I saw this one, and I was like, it's gotta be this one, man. It's got what, shiny shit. What was this made? It's yeah. just like, it, it's just gonna give us a, it's gonna have asbestos in it and kill yeah, us. Unicorn asshole. That made out of it. <laughs> but, you know, speaking of M uh, MOBAs, uh, you, you guys had the opportunity to play, uh, Paragon. Paragon. Yeah. What do you feel about that being introduced in this arena of all these competitive games now? Are you kidding me? It's on its own freaking, like, it's on its own level. Like, yeah. here's League and Dota and Han. Han doesn't exist anymore. I'm sorry. It's beautiful. Yeah. But it's still a beautiful Han game. And then there's Smite. And then there's Paragon. And I'm sorry. On my scale of Smite to Paragon, in my personal opinion, I know you guys are hate us because we're Smite channel, but Paragon's got an edge. Right the, now. the fact that for right Especially now. after this last patch. Holy fuck, I can't yes. wait. Next week, we're gonna have another Smite dude on, and, and we're gonna talk about this fucking patch. Yes. Double tap it. He's going to have some things to say about this shit. Double tap's coming. Yeah. I would have loved I would love to have a Duke too, but, but I don't know if Duke's gonna be able to make it. But yo, I would love to have just everybody. Everybody just fucking talk about this. Because everybody's got something to say about this patch, because this patch fucking blew. I, I'm not even gonna get into it right now, because yeah. we're talking about paragons, but yes. yeah, fucking but no, Paragon's on its own on its own other world because it's just it's a completely different game. Yeah. It's it's a MOBA, and they just had a huge patch by the way for Paragon it was pretty yeah, awesome. Like it made it a lot more skill based. Like in Smite, yeah, you can miss auto attacks stuff like that, and you can juke it and everything. But in Smite, in I'm sorry, in Paragon, they just took this to a whole new level. They gave everybody movement speed increases, and there's no penalty for shooting on the run. So it has an arena combat feel to it. Versus exactly. Yes. Like yeah. the whole mobile. But it looks so it beautiful it. too. Yes. Yeah. Oh no. It looks like, so and, and texture sure. wise, like it, it looks good. You could even compare Paragon in a sense to Division. In Paragon, what are they doing right now? They're listening to the community. It's an early access, but they're listening to all the feedback. They're looking at what people want and what people don't. They yeah. even ask. It's like, if you guys don't like this movement speed patch, you gotta let us know. They even because respond right to now, your feedback Seriously. Personally. Yeah. When yeah. I sent them a review, they sent me a thing back and they're like, well, you know, like... Uh, thanks, you never looked at it this because, way. Yeah, no, like, yeah, they actually told it me... It wasn't like, a, a mechanical thing. response? Like, thanks. No, because I told them to fix their hero <laughs> decks because there was a lot of issues with it. And they say, yeah, we've been actually trying to fix the hero decks and that's some, a big issue that everyone's been talking about. Yeah. So we're hoping that, you know, the next big patch will, at that point, it was the next uh, beta weekend, we'd have it up and running. And I'm like, awesome. And he said... For the feedback, and we noticed that you played eight hours for the eight hours that it was available. Yeah. <laughs> you fucking nerd. Yeah, I know, right? I was like, I wanted to play it, and I liked it, you know? And I kept yeah, playing it. I'm so, telling you that hurts my feelings. But, but listen to this. <laughs> I'll tell you After, after, after uh, all that, at the end, he said, for so, so, since you've been so loyal and you've sent the review and everything, you know, here's bad access, here's the uh, early back. access, you know, they gave me everything. I was like, wow, you know, that's really nice. Yeah, I really cool. appreciate nice. that. But yeah, they're listening to their community, and even if it's an unfinished game, yeah. like, at least it's not a bug fest. For God's sake. Like, yeah, there was one bug that really pissed me off that they just fixed. 
That was yeah. Cactus Bombs. Oh, and they didn't have two impl- bombs on my head and it practically one shot. And, oh, and, and by God. fixing that bug, they didn't implement 13 other bugs that can be e- just as easily exploited. Yeah, I see what you mean. But it's funny <laughs> you mentioned that closed beta, open beta concept because, oh, yeah. you know, uh, when it comes to a lot of AAA titles, when you do those. I think I know what you're about to get to. Uh, I, I played a game. I'm not sure if many of you are uh, aware of its existence because it seems pretty dead. Uh, it's called Star Wars Battlefront. Oh, I did both. Both betas. Dear God, I sent them literally a fucking Pages. dissertation of why <laughs> this game needs to be put on a shelf. The entire development team needs to be reprimanded by, like, throwing pepper in their eyes. By Thor. But, yes, literally, with lightning. like, they took everything good about their game and shot it in the face in a corner. Like, literally murdered it. And then you look at, like, everyone wanting to legitimize this game's purpose because it was developed by DICE, but published by EA. You see, that last part, but published by EA, represents one thing. Remember how there was that title that EA Games used to have? It's in the game. Yeah, it's not in the game anymore. It's in the DLC. (laughs) It's in the season pass. Yeah, because because remember, gamers are no longer gamers. We're seasonal, right? Like, we have our on-again, off-again moments. We just don't want a game completely given to us. No, we want to settle for a game that's just barely there. Let me me ask you a quick question. What was the most recent game you could think of that was good that didn't involve DLC? I honestly can't think of one. Like, the the most recent one I can... the, The most recent one I thought of was, like... Halo Reach. Okay. And I think that had deals. Probably, have you guys probably. ever played? I mean, this depends on you, but how about The Witcher? Okay, fine. Okay, okay Witcher base. Game. Okay, but here's the thing. Here's the thing that's different between The Witcher and all these other companies. Witcher is its own independent studio that set its time frame and even said to its community, guys, we can't make it in the time frame. If we release it now, it's going to be a complete mess. Remember that shit? Yeah. The Witcher was supposed to come out in what, 2013? Yes. Came out 2013, in 20, really? Yeah. I thought it was 2014. It was 2013, wow. and then it got delayed to 2014, and then in 2014, it got delayed another six months. Yeah. You yes. want to know why? But you know what? I'm happy. Because, because you see amazing. the final product of that shit, it's amazing. Yeah. They even, and it was funny. Five out of five. Because... Because here's the thing. Okay. Here's the thing that was funny. Yes. They said that they, they apologized to the, comp- the, the 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 PC community because we couldn't they couldn't implement the the full high end graphical output at the start. But what do they do? A few months down the line, they introduce a, de- a, a patch that can allow you to have high res textures in the game, and you can be happy to run your game. In yeah, six- it was free too. Right? Yeah, and free. Yes. And because uh, well, I I find it crazy if a company charges you money to play the game in high uh, high detail. Because that's that like something game, EA would do with Battlefront. Yeah, like if yeah, they released yeah. it with less quality, but more like more yeah, options. Yeah, but like or I, I'm glad that you brought that up because at least the Witcher's commu- like development team has free reign to communicate. Because not only are they developers, but they're also their own publishers within that studio. I mean, look at who they who they have vendoring their games. I believe or doesn't Origin sell it? Yes, it's or, GOG. It's, yeah, it's games. Origin, GOG, and Steam. Yeah. They all. The, this is vendored through many outlets. Yeah. Okay, it doesn't restrict itself to one possible, you know, area of income, which yeah. is good on their part, mm-hmm. because you know it gives them time to make their own rules. You know, a lot of development companies can't do that because they got to answer to investors and the publishers' demands on to get a product out. I mean, that's why a lot of games that when they release, you're, you're questioning what the hell is. What, there's a lot of shit missing here. Yeah. Like, for example, like Battlefront. I don't know who was responsible for a lot of the 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 mechanics to it, but what mechanics. They exactly. They, they, you play you play the whole game in one mode. Exactly. Yeah. Walker assault. It, yeah. it's, every other game mode is literally just no, a piece of Walker assault. It, might, it, it might be. It Jesus. might as well be called Walker Texas Ranger assault. You know, yeah, uh, you got Texas Chuck Ranger. Norris's face on a Walker just kicking shit over. No, but I, I will say, look, there was only two modes that I remember when I played that were like completely different: Walker assault and the heroes and villains one. Yeah. Those are the only two that were their own modes, and then all the other ones were literally taken straight from Walker assault. Oh, team deathmatch. Yeah, then Walker assault. The air battles, you have that in Walker Assault. Capture the de- territory, you have that in Walker Assault. Like, everything yeah. is the same. There's, there's, they're like just like one class, too, basically. You basically uh, make them. You, you, you switch you, cards, you get, they have a yeah, card they system. They have a card system that you implement utility skills, like who can have a thermal detonator or a Bothan sniper rifle. Yeah. You know, things like that. But it things just... used to be pickups. Yeah, pickups. Like, what is, why is, why is every developer, when it comes to these kind of like, you know, like open world arena game types, they're so against it because now you just brought something to my attention. Doom. Doom. 
I want to talk about that just for a okay. minute. But wait, before you get into that, I just want to say that did you hear that there's a company that's actually putting together Battlefront Three right, right, yes. right now? Yeah. Yes. No, no. What they did, what they did is uh, Battlefront Three when it was about to be. I don't know if it was about to be released, but they had. No, no. They, they, they were in early development. Exactly. Early development, and they would, they shut and it down, and they showed what they were going to implement. Exactly. Like they wanted to be like, hey guys, you know how you enjoyed those conquest modes? Why would you take that out? Yeah, I know. You know, was... It, it was a campaign that you took part did you in. You guys like little... space battles? Let's get that shit out of there. Fuck that, man. <laughs> and then, Fuck that. And then introduce, don't need that and then shit. Introduce flight combat. That's the same thing. Right? No, it's not. That's like, imagine if anyone can remember playing Battlefield 2142 Titan mode, but removing the ability to get on the Titan. You just see it there in the atmosphere. How are we supposed to kill it? Eventually, it's just going to crash. That's Even it. better, you guys like how all the Jedi that you, and Sith that you played were all unique and diverse? Nah, they're all going to hit like this. They all swing like and there's horrible. <laughs> all of them, all of them hit like this. The fucking Darth Vader and Luke, they all hit like they're fucking like. <laughs> <laughs> Caveman. You know, Caveman. Like, what, Caveman. What the hell, man? We you know they have their own art yeah. form in martial arts. We don't want no Yoda back to shit. shit like that, like what we saw they, versus. Wait, who can you use? You can use Luke, Luke, Darth Vader, Boba Fett, and Han Solo, right? And, and yeah. also da, uh, this, uh, what's this? Emperor Pal uh, Palpatine. Yeah, Palpatine. Yeah, Palpatine. Yeah, Palpatine. Palpatine. Yeah, yeah, but all he does is. But then he's like, I'm here. I'm going to cook you. But. That's it, though. Yeah. And we're talking about <clears throat> Battlefront 2, which was, like, hugely hyped. Yeah. Like, yeah. When, when people heard this was coming out, you mean they were like... Right? No, 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 he meant, like, 2 as oh, in oh, oh, talking yeah, about, yeah. like, 2. Like, two, two. I can't believe how yeah. much of a mess 2 actually was when it, like... Even in beta, they, they let them know. It's like, you know, you know, this is the same thing over and over and over, right? Mm -hmm. And it's the same thing over and over and over. You get in the walker, you try and get a Jedi, and you snipe people. Yeah, and it doesn't even make you work as a team because everyone does a fucking scramble for the fucking pickups. So yeah. Oh fuck you! I'm gonna be the goddamn pilot this time. Yeah. And that one guy that becomes a pilot, it, it, he just crashes immediately, and you gotta wait like fucking three minutes for the thing to come back. I remember in the in the beta, something that was actually hilarious was when you would when you'd get the Y wings and you'd actually weaken the thing. Yeah. It was so funny because some people were like, "I suck at piloting." You see him kamikaze straight into the thing. <laughs> so you just see all the pilots just go fuck shooting at this. Yeah. We just blow up. It's like that's one way to perfect. Do it. Everyone <laughs> adapted. Like, Imperial Zero. Japan tactic. Yeah, you see them shooting. Do, 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 do. Shit, it just exploded. I'm like, Full that's honor. that's for another time though. Yeah, dude. I'm telling you though. Um, Ubisoft title, so be careful with that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh wait, is it? For honor's gonna be God. I'm afraid. Yeah, exactly. yeah, be very afraid. Ubisoft. You know, hold on. I saw the new. I just realized what the division is. It's the sequel to fucking Watch Dogs. It's Watch Dogs 1.5. Oh my god. Oh, you're a homeless guy who gets yeah, an you're, iPhone. You're, no, no, you're, you're, you're a character. No, you're the, iPhone upgrade into a watch. You kind of like yeah, just came out of my Yeah, no, 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 that's what Watch Dogs is. You're a homeless guy who got an iPhone. Yo, but wait, how cool would it be if you had like Watch Dog like mechanics? That would actually be fucking cool Indivision. because guess what? You could actually do shit in your environment. You could fucking turn off the lights in a room and force the guys to turn on either flashlights or turn on night vision. Yeah. Actually, they light the room on fire. I just realized, like, why isn't there like different daytime settings in the division? Like, why isn't there a night? Why can't you have night vision goggles? No. Hey. Or a flashlight. Why? Come on, Ubisoft. Like, come on, man. The tech is on. too good for that. <laughs> well, it's not like we did that in Death in Daisy Isaac, oh. and Tom Clancy I, titles I, I and get, Splinter. And like, I get yeah, Splinter Cell. Yo, Jesus. There, you know what? You can implement a stealth mechanic. We keep yeah. going. We know uh, why we come, we don't want why we keep going back to the division because it's not right. It's not okay. It, it's, it's not, not okay. It, they promised us so much. We were all hoping this was going to be the freaking MMO shooter of our dreams. Like, what was that game that we tried to play a while back that was supposedly... Seriously, it's based off a TV show. And it was like... Oh, Defiance. Oh. Yes, it was supposed oh, to be like it Defiance is... is like... It was supposed to be what Defiance was but the thing supposed is, to be. It's, yeah. you know, it's literally repeating what Defiance is. Yeah, right, guys, guys, calm down. <laughs> What happened to that TV show, by the way? It's they, done, they I believe. Yeah. Like, pretty much, they just looked at it, they poked it with a stick. It's dead, Jim. It's, it's like, dead. it's a jellyfish on the beach. Can check this pole? We can't save it. Is the... <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. It's I gone. Speaking I of which, is that the direction that Doom's going? Okay. Cause, cause you, you, I know you okay, wanted to talk about Here's that. the thing with Doom. Doom, combat, like, combat speaking, feels great. What? One hour eight. Okay. So. It feels great. You understand that? Like, like the feel of shooting and killing in that yes. game. Like, it feels awesome. They did it right. They did it right. The combat's fun. Yeah, the combat's fun. Like, it's a little to get used to because yeah. it's, it's Be different because it's it, different. it it adapts what Quake Three had done. Yes. Yeah. But the very problem different. is, they put the goddamn loadout system in there. Here's what you do. 
You just make it so that you can pick up a pop, probably like three weapons, right? And as you go throughout the battlefield, you're killing people. Oh, this guy dropped the gun. I pick up his plasma rifle and I murdered all of his team to make him feel like he dishonored his whole team. <laughs> okay, that's that's the little like you just see that you picked up a guy that, that put a detail of a smiley face on his plasma rifle and tell and told everyone to have a nice day and killed them. Okay, um, like the movement of the game, it doesn't feel. <clears throat> It's in a weird place right now because like there's no like you know sprint mechanic or dodge yeah. that, that that usually was incorporated with like games like Quake because like let's face it the double jump is fucking pathetic. It in is oh my shit. god, it's terrible. It, it, like I find myself jumping and I'm like I got a jetpack little bit. I'm like I just hit the wall and I fall down. And people are like well you could grab it's on like the wall. It's like you had some Mexican food and you just farted a little bit. Yeah, you got like an yeah. inch, of, you yeah. inch of air. Yeah, you, it's you, all it was. You, yeah. you, you flew a little bit, just a little bit. You want to really um, get going? You gotta eat this extra spicy burrito. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dumb things though, really dumb Talk things. It, uh, the fact that demons spawn every three minutes. I mean, I can understand that, like to close the gap on the score, but they're really fucking powerful. Yeah. Like. Stupidly powerful. Yeah, you need a guy with quad like, damage or the fucking railgun to kill it. Do you think it's fair that when you kill the demon dude, you could just pick up the essence and become a demon? Afterwards? I think that what kind of sucks is that as soon as you, if your team has the demon, the enemy team kills the demon, they could just pick it up. You can't. Your team can't pick it up anymore. Really? Your team cannot. So pick it's it up. only really? the enemy team. They that cannot. Can really? Yeah, but well, can't they're just locked for a certain time. Can't you but, use that against them? Because then they, you you just watch it with your team, and when people go to do it, it, it just go, no, because you can't you can't kill them. There's an invuln frame to when. Yeah, you can't kill the person picking that shit up. So you're there like wasting precious time and ammunition when you could have ran away to like get the fuck life. out of there <laughs> because you know. You're fighting a guy that you're fighting a demon that has like the fucking anatomy of a skeleton, but is apparently bulletproof. Do, do you uh? They have a time limit, right? Does the yeah, time limit reset time limit. when they drop the essence? No, no, it no, no. no. Going, if, right? it, it, if it reset, I would never play it again. <laughs> and the thing is, it's funny. Like I did, I did some looking into it, and the funny thing is, I was like, I was thinking, this game's Halo Four. It feels like Halo Four. And lo and behold, the team that was developing the multiplayer aspect was not in. It was a contracted group that did work on Halo 4, so I was wondering, like, this this feels Halo 4 -ish. And that's not really a great thing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because, let's face it, the loadout system in that game limited your potential to have fun. Because, you know, I Don't remember... Don't you have, like, a, a teleporter thing? You can throw a teleporter? Yeah, you, that, that, Does okay. anybody use that? Yeah, people use that. The, yeah. the blinker. Yeah, no, the little... You, you throw everybody, the, every time I watch you play, you always use the, that the frag? Like, sapping thing. There's siphon, there's products? siphon, frag, and then yeah. there's teleporter. My favorite. The siphon is pretty nice because if you get a big group, they can't kill you because you're just siphoning the whole... Yeah. The, all the damage you're doing to you. And that's great to use to cover your demon if you're doing, uh, <laughs> what's it called? Uh, Warpath. That... There we go. I'm gonna praise them on that yeah, game. Warpath more. is good. Warpath's like Warpath amazing. It's it's you just keep progressing and you keep fighting. And it goes across the whole okay, map. You know? It's it's not a stalemate where you're like, oh man, these guys are camping on this one position. That's not true because you gotta keep moving. It's all about the groove. Do you move? You know. <laughs> and, and like it's really fun. That that's really fun. But like that ability, you know, the sapping ability, that shit is terrifying when it's used in combination. In fucking Warpath deep. especially. When it, when it, you just see that, that Revenant walking towards you with those two fucking uh, football shoulder pads of rocket launchers just blowing up your teammates. Yeah. He's <laughs> like, ah, you're dead now. Oh my god. But no, the, in Warpath, the, the siphon's good. The one that I've noticed that isn't as good is the teleport, because in Warpath, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you really don't need to use it, unless, like, your team is very, like... You guys are controlling the point. You yeah. could use it to get out quick if yeah. people use a bunch of frags and siphons. It's like a flash. Kind of. Actually, a little farther, because like what I've noticed is actually pretty subtle. Mm -hmm. Like If you're looking at someone, you can throw a quick behind them, and it'd be a second before the guy realizes, oh shit, he teleported. Yeah. So, which can give you an, a shot or two. And like you a shot in the melee, melee, you know? Yeah. 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 Which would be enough to okay. you know, kill there's a There's a problem right there. That, that whole melee animation, it, it kind of deters the point of using it in the game because you're taking three minutes to rip a dude's fucking head off, and the other guys can see. Can you it. actually get hit while you're doing you're get, You can get hit. You kill no, the guy. You kill like, the guy. It's back You like, kill the guy um, that you melee, but, but you can die. Yeah, assassinations. Yeah. yeah. But at the same time, if you do it right and you don't get killed in the meantime, you feel like it, bad. Yeah, it's real satisfying. It is. Yeah, like it's funny as hell when a guy runs up to me with a shoot, super shoddy and I shot him with my, the plasma rifle's grenade launcher and he's burning alive running towards me. And then I punch him like 30 times in the face till his helmet breaks in yeah. and like there's no face yeah. left. That's satisfying. Yeah. My favorite one is where you break the dude's leg and you hit, you take his foot and you smash it into his skull and that's yeah. how you kill him. Yeah. That, that was fucking... <laughs> 
Yeah, like, so I mean, like, dude, like, yeah, there's a lot of ang- there's a qualities, lot of anger yeah. in those Marines in Doom, you know? Yeah, they, for real, like, you could just like punch the guy's face and he'll, his face will explode. But nah, I'm gonna rip off his leg and hit him with his face. His <laughs> you know what's really bad? You get satis- you get more satisfaction out of assassinating one dude in Doom than you do out of completing the incursion in Division. That's it's true. It's like no satisfaction value. You're not having yeah. fun. It's just like, oh, I'm gonna sit here and do this thing. I mean, if you're the first person to find the exploit, sure, you're probably like, this is hilarious. Yeah, but then, like, as soon as you figure it out and you run it, it's just like, okay. Yeah, it's All just right. like, I got my hey, you know what I want tank, the to be? I want to feel that satisfaction that I know I'm gonna feel when we finish that challenge mode in WoW. Dude, yeah. there is a challenge. Oh my god, god. That's I mean, there is no challenge in Vision. <laughs> like, know, because that's I know, but if. After that, after we finish that challenge mode, I'm going to be so fucking happy that we did it and we got gold. Yeah. I want to have that same feeling with incursions. Like, I finish an incursion, I feel like, oh, God. You feel like it, it. it worked for something. Yeah. Because, let's be honest with you, it's not really working. <laughs> You're just literally waiting in line in the division. Oh, it's terrible. As a healer, like, I feel like I'm going to get a fucking, like, yeah, but Parkinson's. Yeah, but <laughs> but admit it. Create when macro we finally story. freaking get that down <laughs> and we beat it, it's going to feel amazing. That's another thing that, like... You guys are going to be like, yeah, where's Mark? I'm going to go to the keyboard. There's no satisfying accomplishment. <laughs> there's no satisfying accomplishment Shaking. because there's no challenge to it. And yeah. what do you get out of it? You get a you get a piece of gear that has a set bonus that's... Pro- it's it's your set, but probably doesn't have the stats you want either. Which yeah. is, like, really frustrating. And by the time that you do get... Yeah, and by the time you get the stats that you do want, it's just going to be like, oh, finally, I got you know it. What? But you'd be frustrated. Yeah. You know what? I will go out on a ledge and say I would prefer them to have set drops. Yeah. I would rather yeah. them not be ge- like generated. That way, you no, have like sure. everybody would have something with power to. A, they can only have a set range of gear because yeah. they're set drops. Yeah. yeah. And uh, that's, that's why that's why we don't want to. that shared loot. That's why we want loot to be Person. like we want loot to be like. I mean, sorry, we don't want individual loot. Yeah. We want shared loot. Okay. You yeah. know, yeah. we want shared. Yeah. Loot. We want it so that people. You know, you finish a raid, it's like, okay, what dropped? Okay, these two items? Okay, who, who needs them? All right, you get that one, and you get that one, you know? Yeah, it, what, it's what creates an organization in... in yeah, like, and what, what, that's the problem. Like, a sense of like, that we're is the wild. problem that WoW has right now, right? Is now. that there's no sense of community. I don't mind having the raid. You have, like, everybody has personal loot, and it's like, okay, whatever. You don't even have to talk in Okay, but I don't mind having the reroll option. Yeah, you no. You use the token to Yes, of course, because that's, that's yours. That's, that's like that's having your like, token. Yeah. It's your time that you're using to reroll, you yeah. know. Like, and it's one stat. Yeah. It's one. You pick one. And no, it's no, 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 no. I'm saying two. No, no, no. We're saying reroll and raid bosses. You get oh, get the seal yes. Of the fate. Okay, yes. Yeah. I don't mind that. if Because if, that's your token, that. yes, and it's your risk, you know? And if you really wanted to, you can go back and do the boss again, even though you don't get his drop, you can still try and pray to RNGesus Jesus that, it, one, you re-roll and you get loot, and two, you re-roll the right damn thing. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. There so, are... I don't mind that. I just don't like the fact that you play freaking... You, you do you do LFRs, and you do... Like, LFRs, for instance, just should be gone. Okay. Let's, no way. Let's not get into that. We can yeah, not get into that. That'll be another game. We, no, we, no, we could get into that. Well, we could get into that. I wanted to because we don't have a lot of time left. Is I want to talk about Journey for Ernie. Oh, oh that's what I'm talking about. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. I hope oh, for any of you that stuck around good. for this, you probably like our channel enough that you stuck around for this. This is going to be cool. We we promise. If the game is everything it's supposed to be. This is going to be a long journey. By the way, the game is not called Journey for Ernie. Yes. That's our... Yeah, that's our game. <laughs> <laughs> the game... Since, okay, you know, okay. since you know most about it, I'll, I'll let you open up with this. The game yeah. is called No Man's Sky. I'm sure everyone has heard about No Man's Sky. No Man's no, Sky is... because I haven't. Until you, you have, told me. What? Until you told me about oh, okay. it, I hadn't heard about it. Right. I didn't know it existed. It. Well, think about it. No Man's Sky is being created by a company, Hello Games. I'm pretty sure nobody knows what the fuck that is. Yes. Because I, I sure as hell didn't when I saw it. That but I- the scope for No Man's Sky is so vast. Basically what it is, is it's, it's a space game. It's not a space sim, because it's not like Star Citizen. Yeah. Star Citizen is space sim. Yes. But it is a space game. It's, 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 it's got, you know, exploration, you know. It's an adventure You could be game. a trader, a fighter, a pilot. There's a di- bunch adventure. of different things you can do. All right? But this is the thing. The, um, the, sc- the, the vastness of the game is what's amazing. It has, uh, what was it, 18 quintillion planets that That's you can explore. That's a lot. That's... That, that, you are literally... Yeah. In our solar system, yeah, and you can be on man. whatever yeah, planet. Our solar system, our universe, just like. That's fine. Okay, fine. I think I'm not in a Yeah, I'd say yeah, it's a yeah, like galactic like yeah. group. Yeah, is more yeah. like it. Yeah. Um, and okay, the entire purpose of the game is to reach the center of the universe. We don't know what's there. We don't know what's there. Whoever gets there first is better name that planet your mom. Yeah, or you're I'm gonna fucking do when I get there. Something amazing. This is your mother. It's it's spelled correctly. Yeah, exactly. Your anus. Okay, but 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 anyway, the uh. 
they said that if you that if you decided to go from one edge of the universe to the opposite, you one person could not do that. It's impossible. In fact, it's, it's, it's not possible. It's just not either. possible. Yeah. Right. And if in order for every single Man person in the time. planet, if they decided to play the game, to search every single, like to find every single planet, it would also be in a, a task that's you know yeah they said extremely you, difficult. You could do it for ten years and you yeah. still wouldn't yeah. actually cover. So the entire here's exactly. what we're gonna do. They have told us. They have told the community that you have about a ninety nine percent chance that you will never find another person, and a ninety nine point nine percent chance that you will never find a friend. Guess what we're gonna do? We're going to find. Her. We're gonna take as many people as we can. Like not as we can, but we're gonna take. I want to say at least the minimum is whoever, four people. Whoever wants to stream. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Whoever wants to stream, and we're gonna stream the Our journey friend. to Ernie. We're gonna try and find one of our friends throughout the universe. You may you may know him from other videos. The. Uh... Marty Ernie's league video. I yeah. guess. He's Bronze also in Tier Adventures or Sandpaper Tier. I don't he, he often has yeah. orgasms when playing hot. Yeah, he's the guy who has the, the orgasms. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes. He's, he's Mr. Orgasm. Yeah. Yes. But yeah, that guy, uh, we're going to try to find him. So basically, he just said he's just going to chill on his planet. The first planet he finds is going to name That's it. Solar system. That's solar yeah. system. He's going to chill on his planet because if we manage to find a planet that he is named, we're in the general vicinity. And we're probably going to flip shit when, if that happens. Yeah. If that yeah. happens. Yeah. And when it, if it does happen, we're gonna we're gonna start making merchandise and we're gonna start selling it to you guys because we're just gonna be happy. And In we're fact, gonna, we might not even sell it to you guys. We might just give it to you for free because yes. we'll be so happy that we'll just be like, here you go, guys. Here's By a BMT time, calendar, BMT shirt. You guys, you guys beat a point zero one odd. Yeah, yeah. Because I I don't think that this is gonna happen. I honestly think we will not find Ernie. I mean, no. if we do, we, we will find figure Ernie. out a system. You there have to think about it this way. Um, I had a no hard enough time trying to find people in Day Z. Oh I god! Can't imagine a universe. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, but when you put it like that. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Here's the other. In the in the game, you know that the game is technically labeled single player. Yeah. You know that that's how unlikely it is that you're gonna find someone. Yes. It's labeled as a single player. But they have like, like you go to Steam and you look at the tag and it says single player. It doesn't but, even say multi. But everyone's in the world. Every, it's they open, did that's say MMO. they did say that there was like a Dark Soul esque yes. way that you can play with your team. They said that it was a mix between Dark Souls and Journey. I've yeah. never played Journey before. But we're about to play it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yes. no. But but Dark Souls was if you don't know, you put down a soul sign, and then you if your friend's in the area. Your friend can see the soul sign, activate it, and then put you into his server. But only for but, a little bit of time. Yeah, it's only for a certain amount of kills. I don't know if they changed in Dark Souls 3, but it was a certain amount of kills, and you, or if you kill the boss. Yes. All right? And you would tell by, like, I guess, I think it was the darker the guy got, you're the, because at first you come out, you're white, and then the darker you become, the less, like, in the world. You're about to, like, that means you're about to get taken off. Yeah. All right? So that's pretty much what it is. You, that's what they're saying. It's something like that. So I'm guessing it might be like you put down a beacon and then your friend can teleport in and then help you out for a little bit and then teleports out. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, like but so yeah, the, the base of the, the base of the goal that we're gonna do with Journey to Ernie and No Man's Sky is we're gonna attempt to find at least one of each other. One all we have to do is get one person to find one of our other group on the same planet or whatever. That is the goal. And then we Because apparently it's nearly impossible. No, and even listen listen to this. They say that people who were playing the demos and the alphas and the betas, whatever that they were playing, they say that they even lost track where they were on the same planet. Because the thing is, since every planet actually has a rotation, they'll be like, oh, they'll go into space? Okay, where, where the fuck am oh, I? Where's no. the space station? <laughs> Oh, I, I could have sworn the space Yo, station was like, oh, I because it's on the other side of the planet. Sometimes I, I have difficulty getting to the yeah. diamond back. Oh my god. So, oh, so when you leave the planet, you can be facing the other side of the exactly. sword. Exactly. So yeah, you oh, know that, Jesus. That, 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 that series that's lost terrifying. in space. That's what you become. I would, I would love oh, to like find this. a planet full of creatures that bleed acid. That'd be my dream right no, now. No, yeah, and and then it's like some planets will be extremely like the Dawson predators Island. like crazy, and yeah. some will have like none, and some will have resources plenty, and some will have just rare resources. But a shitload of predators, and it'll be terrible. Yeah. And in the game, it's like, if you mine resources and you disturb the wildlife, they'll have sentinels, which is like the base of the protectors of the galaxy, go after you. And they will have no mercy. They said themselves, like, they want to do that. That's their job. That's what they, they, they are waiting for you to just say, hey, fuck up. They gave kill, kill, do something. Fucking do it. <laughs> and then like, as soon as you do it, they go and they fucking kill you. They're you like know? the Green Lanterns. And, and if that doesn't even, if that doesn't phase you, if you die... While walking around and you haven't put things in your cargo, you lose what you have. Yes. And not only that, if you're in your ship in space 
and you do something bad, like you destroy a cargo ship, and you're like, I'm gonna be a pirate, and then you destroy a cargo ship, the Sentinels will chase your ass there, and if they kill you and destroy your ship, your ship is gone. And your cargo's gone. Both. Oh, Anything yeah. that you haven't put in the space station, it's fucking gone. Okay, it has been the same thing. You do get your ship back, but you're back in the space station. So but no, no, your, your ship, ship is gone. Your ship is gone. What? Your ship is you, gone. You, you have, have to remake the ship. You have to no, remake no, no, no. This is a different game. No, no, man. No, no, this is the same game. No, man. No, no, because he was talking about. He was thinking about that other game. No, Star 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 I was thinking. No, I was thinking about No Man's Sky. Because oh, remember, in the in the demo that you showed me, he died in his ship, and when he respawned the space station, it was just because, no, because that's a starter ship. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. you. So you lose your upgrade. You lose any upgraded ship you have. Yeah. Because you, you can't just not, you can't play no man's they better make, ship, bro. They better make a really good reason for you to go like bounty hunter type or not bounty hunter like rogue type status. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. Because maybe if you have a huge and, ego and, and by the way, nasty ship, just like, so you know, kill me. Be, being like bad with the Sentinels has a rank system. You can get to a certain rank like with being in the bad side with the Sentinels. So like for example, let's say that you kill one creature. All right. They send like a few little drones after you. You kill the drones. Whatever. You stop. That's it. You, you know, that's it. Let's say you kill like 10 of them. It starts slowly increasing in rank and at some point they send like walkers at you and then they send spaceships at you and then they will just murder you. So you They'll destroy the like, planet you're on. They'll progressively like get great, worse. It's like Grand Theft Universe. Yeah. 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 It'll, it'll progressively <laughs> get worse Your if you keep trying to kill shit. You know? uh, Decepticon status. So exactly. Like the yeah. Autobots and Decepticons all come together to kill you. Yeah, yeah like it, it gets pretty fucking... Yeah. So game. we're excited about this game. We're hoping it's gonna be really, really cool, and everything that they're hoping to be, you know, like we do with every game. Yeah, yeah I know. Looking at you, EA, Ubisoft, Fuck and it. Blizzard now because. Oh, okay. No, 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 we're not gonna, no, we're not gonna get into no, it. No, but I do want to say, how much more time, time do we have, though? Like five. Minutes. We've already been over. Okay. <laughs> I just want to say, like one thing, like uh, maybe I should just wait for the end. Like, did you need to say? This something? is the end. This is okay, fine. This is go ahead. Well, I wanted to say, like, for those of you don't know about Nostarius. They shut down the server, the vanilla server, and I was hoping that, you know, David could put in the description the, where the petition is so that okay. you can get yes. anyone to sign it. Didn't, didn't he already send that in? Yeah, he did, but, but the, this the is more the more gravity. You know, the more the merit. They've yeah. already meet the quota of 200,000 people, by the way, yeah. so that yeah, so want but a vanilla server, legacy servers for World of Warcraft. All right, so you know? even if you don't play... What the hell? <laughs> you know, yeah, he plays WoW. Yeah, Sit he, the fuck he definitely, he's into you this know, shit, dude. You go play WoW with it. All right, yeah. so... Um, even if you don't play WoW, I'm gonna put this in the description, uh, the link to the petition. Please sign it. It's not I'm not gonna take. It's gonna take like two minutes. No, on your basically, game. Blizzard and being a bunch of forever. assholes. Like Blizzard is just being the biggest bunch of dicks. Whoa. Even their response. You to think this, you do, but you, you don't. don't. Yeah. We'll no, link okay. a description to that video yeah, too. Yeah. Yeah. If you watch it, you're gonna. You guys have to remember, Blizzard is a really big company, yeah. and one person does not represent the, the entire, entire company. Voice? So, yeah, so maybe there's a lot of people within Blizzard that don't think that way. They think, hey, Nostarius is a great idea. Yes. It'd be good if maybe we hired dude, these dudes or if we copied their idea, you know, and like... Remember the response like generated on the forum by that other development member about Earth Day oh and the petition. God. Remember, we want e-copies, you know, we don't need to kill an entire forest. And they, like, what? they, they, they want to literally play down the, uh, you know, the... The gravity of the, the situation. The gravity of the situation that surrounds people yeah. who, who want nostalgia, who... Who literally would give them a three million dollar input? You understand that? If two hundred thousand yeah. people were to subscribe to that, three three million dollars, just right there. Is that what it There's, is? Yeah, yeah. You 15 bucks 15, a month. What you guys have to understand? Two hundred thousand people. And yeah, yeah. What you guys have to have to understand is Blizzard has no downside to a server like Nostalgia's. All it does oh, is oh, generate exactly. them money. Yeah, yeah. They they, they privately host yeah. it. They need to use the old hardware. The old patches, the old, the old bugs. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's not even what I'm saying. Get out of here, dude. That's not even what I'm saying. Like Blizzard doesn't have to do shit for this. They're just making money off of it. I know. And there's, there is virtually no reason. For they're it. complaining that they don't have the shit to do it when the stories, fucking did it. Okay. Yeah. And it's not even just that though. When they took like half of their employees and they said, "You guys are gonna work on this game. We don't even know what's gonna happen with this game. This game called Titan. They just go. Oh, half of you guys." Let's go, let's go play Titan, let's go make Titan. And then they fucked up for like five years or some shit. Ten, and then, ten, ten, ten years. years. Okay, ten years, and they can't do something like this. I mean, I'm sure they have a good reason. No, well, I'm they, not the sure. Team <laughs> create, that team created Overwatch. Yeah. yeah. No, I know, and Overwatch no, 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 is no, no, fucking no, awesome. But you know why? Not, because that team was fucking awesome. Yeah. They were the ones who put WoW on the map, and then kept the Yeah, and now, yeah. what did they leave behind? They, they ran the, the intern guy, they throw the fax machine, <laughs> yeah, and uh, <laughs> the, 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 like, here's a fax machine. 
He's a fax machine. Make Warlords of Draenor. Oh, yeah. Garrisons? That's a great idea. That's a fantastic People idea. People are going to love that shit. Remember uh, Facebook? It Let's right. put that into the game. Yeah, Mo Farmville. Farm Farmville. Farmville. That's great. Let's copy that idea. Everybody loves Farmville. Mobile yeah. ass the experience. Just the point we're trying to get across, Blizzard fucked up big time with this most racist faction, and they're about to do it again, and they're fucking up their community. Like, they're literally just saying, fuck you, community. There's a division like, in the community. Oh, yeah, no. it, yeah, the, yeah. Oh, wait, yeah, that's right. Because it's bad. Know. There's tons of problems. Honestly, there's just tons of problems in our gaming community. In Like, not the community. I'm sorry, the developers right now. Yeah, there's no real yeah. communication. Like, DLC's between. a freaking I don't problem. Like talking shit about, I don't like talking shit about Blizzard, because I love Blizzard, and I played their oh, games. Yeah. I play Same. all their games yeah. still, like, right now. Dude, I'm even playing WoW right All now. their stories, everything, it's, yeah. it, you know, it's amazing. Fantastic. It really is great. Like, like Diablo storyline, Starcraft storyline. But that's if why I say I, any game that I love the stories of, it's Blizzard games. Yes. And that's why I'm talking fantastic. shit about them because I have all their books. I've read everything. I've played everything. I've done everything Blizzard like. And the reason I'm talking shit about them is because I don't want them to start to suck. I don't want them to become an EA or. Yeah. Don't become a mediocrity. But their own work. The direction that, they're heading. Don't do it, man. It's the Blizzard. Not even showing because the subscriber count anymore. Probably, because, because the thing is, because they don't want to. Yeah. You know what that subscriber count's like. It's like, oh, here's the most recent month. Here's this month. Did You're you losing the, them like that, man. Did you man. see the spike difference from like a few oh, months of World of Dread? I'll put up the charts so you guys can see. Oh, the I know. Chart. You saw it was on Silver Poppins. Here's Wrath of the Lich King, and then it just... Yeah, and then oh. Wad came out, everyone was like, finally, they're coming out with some boom, and it just goes, bah! It's just like, they stopped it when it got to 5.5 mil. They stopped That's the actually where it's, it's estimated to be at. Just yeah. five million. I think five it's gonna spike again pretty nasty for League. Yo, of course it's going to spike because the yeah, thing is, everybody that will play BC is gonna be like, oh, let's do it. Nah, not me. You can fool me uh, five times, but no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh my god. But anyways, anyways, this is where we should cut it off because we we did good. We covered some space. I think that GoPro hasn't shut off yet, so I'm happy. Thank God. Which is great. All right, that's awesome. Because last and time it was like. And just so you guys know, we can still go on about division. There's plenty of things yeah. we can talk oh, shit about. We can talk There's, about. Uh, we can get. Oh, we should talk about the y-axis or what's the z-axis? The z-axis. Yeah, the paragon. The z-axis. What well, we can talk about the division is the time it would to be make the game actually. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. You Five go. years later. Hey, that's what's wrong. Right. But to I sum it up, I... to sum it all up, the bugs are numerous. The game isn't. The game is not a finished product, and the fixes, honestly, are not... you could ask the community. The community will give you good responses for fixes and balances to this game, and it would. And they're not bad. We've given. We've given what we think could be some, but yeah. the the game is not what we hoped it would be, and yeah. that honestly just pisses everybody off. Yeah. Because we were all hoping for the hopes and dreams of our people. Yeah. But you know, <sighs> and I, I do want to end with one thing. Uh, today was more like an EA, Ubisoft rant, and then we mixed in some Blizzard and shit in there, like just random Just the games. problem with AAA Triple A companies yeah. downplaying their own products in order yeah. to like uh, compensate. I mean, Blizzard time. is with Activision, yeah. so you can't. Well, yeah. 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 What we want to accomplish with this podcast, just so you guys know, like, because if you're still listening now, you probably give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> and, or uh, you've just AFK. Or yeah, you just AFK <laughs> and now like... you're listening to it now, but it doesn't matter. We still want to get the message yes. out there. That what we want to do is we want to like you know we want to get into a little bit of everything. So it's not just going to be Smite. It's not just going to be Blizzard games. It's going to be a little bit of everything. We got Double Tap coming in next week. We're going to have some other personalities from other things coming in uh, in the future. If any of you guys like hockey, we might even talk about that in the future because we do have somebody that's really really into hockey coming in. Yes, and They're very uh, popular. So on Gretzky. <laughs> no, no, we're not saying her name. We will but, not. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but but yeah, we're gonna have. Um, Definitely gonna have. We're gonna have double tap next week. <laughs> double tap's cool, dude. Oh, and um, just at the, when when you guys finish watching the video, if you liked it, please subscribe. And uh, if you give want, us your feedback. Yeah, give us your we, feedback. Please. We like hearing what you guys think because I mean maybe we've been looking at it all wrong. You guys may think of something else. Yeah. We love that kind of feedback. Yeah. And we like to. Do, we're just trying to make people aware that there are so many problems in our game community. We wish people would fix it. And if we can get you know the community aware enough about this shit. Maybe eventually, somewhere down the road, we can go back to the days where we had completed games like Halo One through Three yeah. that were awesome and people raved about and the DLCs all the were time. Good. Yeah, also, the, and the DLCs didn't I exist. I don't know if you guys realize, but we got a new room too, and we we, we need help decorating yes. it. So, like, if you guys have any ideas for that too, please let us know. Yeah, we're in, it's a work in progress. Yeah, and also. Um, what was the last thing I wanted to say? I wanted to say something else, but oh yeah, um, yeah. If you guys want anybody in particular, it doesn't have to be a gamer. It could be freaking anybody you want. Yeah. That you want to see in this podcast, please let me know, and and we'll we'll try to get that person here, and we will talk to them about whatever, dude. It doesn't matter. Fucking Gordon Ramsay. That's our. That's what I want. I want to get Gordon Ramsay. No, no, no. Gordon Ramsay. It's, it's yeah. no longer Gordon Ramsay. It's Yo. Extreme no. Cookman. No, no, no. Extreme Cookman. No, no, no. Extreme no. Cookman. We, I wanna, I wanna we eventually discovered that Gordon Ramsay is actually like a huge gamer on the inside, and he just. He stops by. I would love oh, to hear you his input on bad games. I've had enough of the division. 
Get out! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking throws a knife at the disc. A fucking game. That game is not well done, it's not complete. You poke it and it goes moo. <laughs> Why'd the fucking chicken cross the road? <laughs> because he didn't fucking cook it. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's, I want it. I yes. want to talk to him. Yes. Oh, yes. God. Oh, okay, God. so that's about it. It's a wrap, boys. All right, all right. That's Let's it. do the clap. Journey to Ernie. Right? One, One, two, two three. three.